Oh baby, oh baby! How is everybody doing? Welcome aboard, my friends. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thanks for coming to hang out with me this afternoon. Come and fly some planes. Oh baby, oh baby! How is everybody doing? Welcome aboard, my friends. Once again, thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today as we go and fly some planes around. Oh boy, we're going... Where the hell are we going, Captain Canada? Orlando to Miami, and Miami, oh boy, to Cuba. Our first time visiting Cuba on the stream should be a very, very fun time. Hope you guys are ready for it. I worked tirelessly and hard on getting the scenery converted for you guys. Uh, Facebook Nick lended a hand. I'm kind of teaching Nick how to do things, so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the scenery that we will be flying to today. It should be amazing. We got photo reel rocking everywhere. Oh boy, should be a fun one. We got Drew Simulator coming in with the $2 donation. Says, I love you and bestiality. Jesus. Already starting with those donations. All right, sweet. Thank you so much, dude, for that $2 donation. Huge no floaties to you. What you do in uh, in uh, in your own time in the bedroom is, uh, you, can, you know, you can leave that up to yourself. Mike Games, thanks so much, dude, for that subscription as well. Very, very much appreciated. How's everybody doing? Welcome aboard, my friends. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful weekend. Hope you guys all had a wonderful week leading up to this weekend. Hopefully you guys are getting some flight sim hours in. Uh, for those of you that will be joining me today, Let's, uh, big old knock on the wood for, uh, no trolls today. Uh, so let's really hope for that. Uh, without further ado, guys, we are in the Zebo once again. Uh, we're going to fly the Zebo for the first flight into Miami. And then from Miami to Havana, we're going to take the Flight Factor A320. And we will be, uh, showcasing and listening. I haven't even listened to them yet. The uh, brand new updated, and, and by the sounds of it, from what BSS said and what Facebook Nick was saying and everything, um, that it, it it seems like it's almost like a whole new sound pack. He has absolutely switched it and made it sound absolutely amazing. So, it should be absolutely wonderful. Affixstein, yes, the um, sponsor stream is tomorrow. Now, just to keep everybody... Everybody can view the stream. What it's going to be is it's sponsor chat only. So if you guys are not a sponsor and you can afford to be a sponsor, I highly suggest becoming a sponsor. Uh, not to mention with the 13 custom emojis, uh, you get to stand out in chat with a green name. And uh, once a month, we will be doing a members only chat stream. So it's going to give me a, uh, a, a very nice one-to-one -one interaction with a lot of my sponsor chats. Um, so it's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I've been wanting to do something for the sponsors for quite a while now. Once we reached that mark of 100 sponsors, I said, okay, well, now we got to stop uh, 14 custom emojis. There you go. See? I don't even know how many emojis I have. <laughs> We've gained so many in the past little bit. So anyways, guys, there we have it. And uh, it should be wonderful. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump inside the cockpit of the beautiful Zebo 737. 800 series today we are flying. Uh, let me make sure all my sounds are good. They are not good. We want exterior to about there. And then we want interior about just over halfway. Beautiful. Okay, let's go down here, spend some time on our little e-bag. We're going to go to ground services. Let's go ahead and connect our GPU. We'll go ahead and start our flight leg here as well. Let's head up top, guys. Uh, first things first, we'll get our battery on. We'll arm our emergency exit lights as well. Let's go ahead and grab our ground power. We'll get forward aft pump on as well. Window heat can come on left and right. We'll head all the way up top here. We'll get our deers set to the nav position. Wonderful. We got infinite flight, f infinite flight flights. Jesus, that was a mouthful. Uh, says, what is the best website for buying X-Plane 11 liveries? Liveries? You don't have to buy liveries. If you're looking to buy planes, go to the xplane.org store. If you're looking for liveries, just join the X-Plane forums and there will be, uh, Tons of stuff there for you, man. Thank you so much, dude, for that donation. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Uh, you tried, Adam. What's up, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Generation Blowout. Welcome, welcome. LinkedIn. How are you, man? Welcome, welcome. Alrighty, guys. Let's get our no smoking set to the auto position because it doesn't matter anyways. We'll go ahead and get our uh, navigation lights on. We are going to be cruising. I don't even remember what the hell I filed for. Uh, squawk box. Send flight plan. What did I file? 25,000. Okay. So let's get 25,000 plugged in here into our pressurization panel beautiful let's get some panel lights up in this guy all right sweet down to the fmc panel brightness is on and available beautiful so let's go to init ref uh we are sitting on the ground in mco so let's go kmco beautiful we'll throw that in there scratch pad into that guy right there 
Wonderful. Looking good. We'll go to route. We're going to go to KMCO over to KMIA. Beautiful. We'll throw that in there. We are American 2064 today. Beautiful. We'll throw that in there. Uh, Smitty donates. I'll be made a uh, total of 3,800. <laughs> Smitty. Oh, boy. All right. So American 2064. That's all plugged in. Looking good. Wonderful. All right. Sweet. Uh, let's go over to a knit ref page here, guys. Let's start uh, planning this out in our little e-bag over here. So let's go to weight, fuel, and balance. Okay, according to Simbrief, we need... Simbrief is saying here 6.2 on the fuel. It seems a little bit much, but that's fine. 6.2, we're looking for a zero fuel weight of 60.6, .6, which is going to give us a payload weight of 19.2. Uh, Man, we are heavy today. 19.2, 60.6. There it is, my friends. Wonderful. All right. Back down to the FMC. We're going to punch in all this. Zero fuel weight, 66. Gross weight, 66.8. Wonderful. Uh, reserves, we're going to have two. Looking, uh, we'll leave that the way that it is there. Let's go to our departures here. We are planning the Orlando 4 departure out of a runway. Uh, I completely forget which side I am on. Hold on. Let me open up my charts here. I think we're taking 36 right. Yes, we are indeed. 3-6 right for departure. We are on air side 3. So we're going to go 3-6 right for departure. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Navigraph. Um, okay, we'll go to route. Activate. Execute. Perfect. Go to route. Next page. We're going to be taking radar vectors to MLB. MLB. Beautiful. We'll throw that there. And then from MLB, we're going to jump on our arrivals. We are planning the Bluffy 4 arrival with the MLB transition, and we are actually going to be taking, uh, believe it or not, we haven't flown this in a long time. I'm actually pretty excited. ILS 3-0. Absolutely awesome. We're going to get an ILS to runway 3-0 today. I don't, I, it's been so long since I've flown in. So, uh, it should be wonderful. It should be a lot of fun. All right, so let's go back to our NITREF page here, guys. Cost index today is going to be 35. We're looking for a cruise level of 250 this afternoon. Winds, uh, or sorry, our average winds will be 255 at 63. 255 at 63. We'll throw that in there. We're looking at an ASA deviation of plus 7. Beautiful. We'll go to N1 limits. It's going to be doing a D-rated takeoff today. No need to use up the whole runway. 94.5 looks good. We'll go to takeoff. Flaps are going to be set position 5. We'll enter a CG weight here, 24.1, with a trim value of 4.88. V1, 139. VR, 140. V2, 148. With all that, guys, our pre-flight is complete. We're pretty much ready to rock this guy. Uh, make sure all of our panel lights are on. Let's go all the way up top here. Let's get our APU fired up. 1, 2, and 3. Beautiful. Uh, we'll get our logo light on here as well. While all that is going on, let's go to better pushback. We'll go to start pushback. Out of cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Get him driving up so we are ready to rock and roll here. Beautiful. We'll go right about there. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. All right. I need to update the weather here in MCO, KMCO. Uh, altimeter is 3016. Get that plugged in here. There we go. 3016. Left side, right side. Good. We'll go down here as well. 3016. 3016. Beautiful. All right, sweet. Looking good here, guys. Damn, Cap Cannon is going to Havana. Yes, sir. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. All right, let's work on autopilot panel here. we got our flight director left side, flight director right side. Uh, we might as well. I don't think we have any ATC. Uh, oh, we do have MCO Tower online. All right, so let me call up MCO Tower. Uh, I didn't see he was online. We'll go 1845. Give me a second here, guys. I did not see MCO Tower. Good thing we didn't uh, okay. we didn't All push. Doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. When comes the IXEG? Uh, we flew it quite a bit last week, man. We'll be flying it again, though. Don't you worry. Good to have that thing going again. Blinder Tower, good afternoon, American 2064 IFR to Miami, please. What flight plan format do I use? What do you mean, Ace? We planned the Orlando 4. We didn't throw it into our flight plan. We can just do Orlando 4 radar vectors to MLB, whatever's easiest for you. So connected and bypass and inserted. Release parking brake. All right. 
giving him a second here. Look at that APU exhaust bleed. Woo! It's so pretty. Can you do a WestJet Zebo? Uh, Jeff, when we're flying in Canada, absolutely, dude. What do you think of the best sim setup for beginners? Well, you could look at the highly seven departure and the sorry the highly seven arrival into miami that's what you would like for us to plan yes sir. uh a firm we're actually going to be taking runway three is zero so we can't really take the highly seven arrival uh real world they're landing runway three zero right now so that's why we filed our uh that star Already cleared into Miami, the Orlando 4 departure radar vectors MLB. Climb maintain 10,000. We'll expect flight level 2501 zero minutes after departure. Departure is going to be on 3485-0701 in the box, American 2064. Push starts on us. We'll expect 36 right. Thanks so much, American 2064. All right, sweet. We got our clearance. We're ready to rock and roll here, guys. Uh, can we fly together? I mean, if you're on VATS, I'm absolutely, dude. Okay, let's get all of our fuel pumps on here. We'll make sure our APU gen is on line. Beautiful. I'm just going to turn that off for now. Let's not pay attention to that. Uh, let's get all those guys on here. Uh, APU bleed is on. Engine bleeds are off. Packs are off. Isolation valve is set to open. 25,000 feet is in there. Anti-collision light is on. All right, we're good to go here, guys. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oops, one last thing. Got to go down here. Go to ground services and disconnect GPU. Beautiful. All right. Park Ladies brakes off. The there goes the jetway. Uh, helicopters finished flying from Singapore to Newark. Next plane. Nice. That's a long flight, dude. That is a long flight, my friend. All right. Wait till she closes the door. There it goes. Engine number two over to the ground position. And there she goes. Have you seen the new Aer Lingus livery? I have, Brian. I like it. I dig it. I could fly it. Hopefully we'll fly it soon. Looking for 25% on our N2. There it goes. We'll introduce fuel. Have you tried using Navigraph charts with AviTab? I have, Phil. Yes, I have. Uh, I don't know if it will work. Uh... How do I do it? Do I go airport KMCO? Because it is connected. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. KMCO. Search. No, KMCO. Does it not work on this plane, though? Because I, I had it working on the... Um, I had it working on the TOLUS. We got the TOLUS with the AVI tab now. So I had it working with that. I don't know if you have to do something different with the, uh, with the Zebo mod. I'm not sure. Click the lines on the right-hand side. What do you mean, the lines? Like, in airports? Operation complete. Set parking brake. All right, introduce fuel number one. We'll set our park brake there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, hold on. You have to click the third button from the left at the top corner. So what do I do, though? Do I go, like, airports and then search it here? Or is it just charts? Or how do we do it? Airport, then the lines. Airport, and then do what? KMCO, if we enter it. The lines, this one. Ah! Aha! Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. All right, sweet. There we go. So it would be our reference, all right? We don't want that. We want airport. So let's go, like, airport, airport info. Look at that. You guys are snazzy. Thanks, guys. 
Uh, shit, I missed another donation earlier. I gotta check on that. Uh, we got BeefCS coming up with a two dollar donation. Thank you so much, man. He goes, boy, he's back. And then I got BeefCS with another two dollars. So this missed my last dono. Oh, sorry. My bad, BeefCS. My apologies, man. Thank you so so much, dude, for those donations. Very very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful, dude. Thanks so much. Um, all right, let's go ahead down here, and we need zero seven zero one. I believe is our squat code. Yes, it is. Zero seven is zero one. We'll get that on T A R A. Beautiful. So there we go. We got our charts looking good. Can actually see where we need to go. All right, let's tune back to frequency here. Let's also go ahead and get our flaps set to position five for takeoff. Make sure our auto brake is over to max RTO. We need a trim value of four point eight seven. Should be good right about there. Uh, we'll head up top. Let's make sure our yaw damper is on. Pro Pete's on as well. Engine gen left side. Engine gen right side. Bleeds are going on. APU bleed is off. Packs are to the auto position. ISO valve to auto as well. Uh, let's put that die there. Taxi lights on. Runway turnoffs are on. Beautiful. All right, sweet. We're looking good to go. Um, all right. Orlando ground. American 2064 is ready to taxi 36 right. All right, we'll take Bravo 6, continue down Bravo, hold short 36 right for um, American 2064. All right, park brakes coming off. Let's go ahead and get that APU off here as well. Do a recall. Good. All right, sweet. Life is located under I'm not I'm not even recognize I'm not even not even gonna give him the satisfaction of me saying anything about it anymore. This is how we're gonna deal with it from now on. Don't worry guys, we're on it. What's the whole BSS version 1.3 thingy? Kevin! Uh, BSS got a new update, dude. Man, I love having that Navigraph chart there though. That is fucking slick. Now I can show you guys, we can go over everything as well. Alright, so we're going to go out Bravo 6 and take a left turn here on a Bravo. Are the charts part of the Zebo mod? Uh, if you have Navigraph. So you have to have a Navigraph subscription in order to get these charts. I love AviTab, man. It's so good. I just love that like you can incorporate it basically in any airplane that you want. Like I've got it in my um, so this is Charlie here, first left. We're not going to take that one. Take our second left here on Bravo. Uh, I even, I have this little tablet now in my Tolis A319, and it's badass as all hell. I love it. Um, Cap, I didn't turn on the generators. Uh, yes, I did, sir. Indeed, I did, man. Don't you worry. You're flying with Captain Canada. Um, you see XFR 1.10 shit show last night? I did not, Nick. What happened? Did they do like a release thing and it was just a fucking nightmare or what? What happened? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if that's what happened. Uh, do you have the charts inside any files? Nope, phase. It's grabbing it right from Navigraph website, dude. There's no, I didn't have to place any charts, no nothing. It's, it's connected to Navigraph pretty much is what's going on. Alright, we're getting 3485 plugged in here. Let's get that ready to go here. 3485. Wow, you would have think that. What the fuck did I just do? Alright, whatever. 3485. Uh, and then I need 1845. Alright, there we go. Uh, can you please set up tour? Quinn, I already posted pictures, dude, on my. Facebook and on the uh, Discord page. So if you're not done so already, you definitely want to go check that out. We got Mad153 coming up with a $2.10 donation. Thank you so, so much, Mad, for your support. Very, very much appreciated, man. He goes, yay, Flight Factory 320. Can't get the alt callouts on landing to work, though. Can you help? Altitude callouts with the Flight Factory 320? That seems a little bit odd. Are you running the BSS sound pack with it? I mean, you should have them. Cat flew from Belfast to Manchester this morning. Horrible weather. ILS to minimums. Damn. That's crazy. 
All right, we need 10,000 feet. Uh, we're uh, going to be no, going... No, we'll stick with the with for now. We're going LNAV, VNAV. Uh, did we even set our V-speeds? We did. 163. Yeah, you have BSS? Hmm. It's really weird, dude. I would suggest maybe reinstalling the BSS sound pack. I'm wondering if something's like not allowing it to do what it's supposed to be doing. That's weird. What's well, annoying so bad? My account's still frozen. Really hope it gets up and running. No worries, Generation Blow. No worries at all, man. Greetings from LA. Watching you and studying uh, CFI at the library. Nice, Chris. Cool. That's awesome, dude. Good for you, man. Good for you, my friend. Very, very cool. Would you prefer Captain Boeing or Airbus? I don't know. I love both, dude. If you had asked me about a year or two ago, I would have said Airbus 100%. Now that I know Boeing and I'm comfortable flying Boeings, I don't know, man. Boeings are just as good, dude. Boeings are just as good. What does BSS stand for? Blue Sky Star. BSS. Blue Sky Star. Simulation. Alright, and uh, we're going to let him know we are ready to rock and roll here very shortly. What is my favorite plane? I don't know if I have one, dude. There's so many, man. The tallest 319, Flight Factor 320, Zebo Mod, IXEG, 767, 330. There's so many, dude. There are so many. Um, do you prefer MD or Boeing? probably Boeing. Although I do love MD. They're just very dated. Very dated. In Orlando Tower, American 2040, sorry, 2064. It's ready to go 3-6, right? 7-7 seven, seven, V2 going to be different we're plane? We're heading 060 zero, zero, one, zero, one, uh, Alrighty, heading 060 after departure cleared for a takeoff 3-6 right, American 2064. Um, Epoch Zach, what's going on, buddy? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you're doing well. Landing lights are going on. Oh, we have all four. Oh, because I have to put on LED lights, probably. Fax lights Landing coming off. Delta 3442. Evening, ready to copy. IFR to uh, Boston. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good flight. All right. Good to go here, get ourselves on the runway. Very close for ACC, New Orleans Tower. Your good speed, Boston Logan International Airport. I don't make what it's too. Let's bring those throttles up to about 40%. I maintain 10,000, expect level 3501. Beautiful, and Toga. Toga. Uh, Take off power set. Uh, uh, Airspeed's live. Let's cross check. Smitty! <laughs> oh, Smitty, you crazy animal. <laughs> Get me on my takeoff roll. Rotate! Pulse and freight. Gears going up. I got a damn it, Smitty, in chat for everybody that can do it. Damn it, Smitty, my man. Thank you so, so much, Smitty, for another $100 donation. You are absolutely insane. Thank you so, so much, my friend. Absolutely wonderful, dude. All right, so we're going heading. We have to go heading select here. There we go. Let's go gear down. Or, sorry, lock our gear. Auto brake over to the off position. Go ahead up top here. We'll get our retractable landing lights off. Runway turn offs off. Wing light off. Logo light off. Beautiful. Let's start making that right turn 060 heading as per the controller's request. Alrighty. I don't know if that was for me. I can't hear him. Alrighty, there's 060 on the heading. Let's go flaps up position one. And 
Twin Tower, American 2064, 2600, heading 060. Let's go flaps clean. American 20, 20, 20, 20, 3485, thanks for HTC, dude. We'll catch you soon. American 2064. Alright, we're over to. Uh, Jacksonville Center. Okay, one copy. Beautiful. Gonna watch the NHL All Star game? Uh, I might have it. We'll see. Jacksonville Center, good afternoon. American 2064 is off runway 36 right. Orlando heading 060 4500. Oh, American 2064 is Alright, we're able to direct the MLB VOR. Thanks so much, American 2064. Alright, let's go down here. We'll make sure that that is where we are going correct. We will go LNAV. We will go autopilot. Beautiful. And there she goes. Z320 flight factor value for the money? You'll see. I mean, we're going to be flying it next, so you can make your own uh, your own decision about it. Uh, i got to give a huge no floaties to Smitty. Thank you so, so much, Smitty, for the support this afternoon once again, man. Absolutely beautiful. And we got Maximilio coming with a $6.61 donation. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Smitty says, damn it, Rotate. Maximilio says, damn it, Smitty. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for the support. Very very much appreciated, my friends. Absolutely wonderful. Let's go ahead and get Smitty's uh, Captain of the Month. Smitty up to 39 hundo. My goodness me, Smitty. Oh boy, breaking records, man. Smitty's just out here breaking records with zero Fox given. Atta boy, Smitty. Uh, bungee, bungee. <laughs> Harry, what's going on, man? Welcome aboard, too. Cleared you up to 2.5, did he? Alright, sweet. So let's go up to 2.5 then. I didn't hear that. But let's go up to 2.5. Thanks for being my ears. Because we all know half the time I can't hear anything. Now, this seems... Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Alright, we're good. It's not bad. We're okay. These clouds out here today. My goodness. Uh, what's the honorary patrons list phased? Everybody who's donated, man. Although the list is done, so I can't uh, I can't add anything to it. Uh, Massey, my real name is Kyle. K Y L E. So we can do KMIA now, and we can search that, and then we can go to this little thingy, and then we can go to Approach Fixes. Uh, actually, sorry, I guess it would be Arrivals, and we're going to be planning the... We're on the Bluffy 4 arrival. So here is the Bluffy 4. Mark Jonathan coming in with the $2 donation. Thank you so, so much, Mark Jonathan. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful dude. He goes, best pilot ever. Thank you so, so much. Mark and Jonathan, very, very much appreciated for those kind words, man. Absolutely wonderful. Huge Dragon no floaties to you, dude, in chat. Thanks so much, man. Aaron Koch, Dragon how are you, man? Welcome Dragon aboard. Dragon Hope you are doing well. Uh, where is Miami? Miami is right there. So basically, it's going to take us out to the VKZ. Do we have Virginia Key? It is there. Virginia Key is there at 3300. Uh, all right, and then I guess it's gonna be a right turn from from that. Oldie, yeah, sure, why not? All right, makes sense. It makes sense, my friends. We're obviously just not on it yet. We're traveling to the MLB Melbourne VOR. Uh, oh, baby, we got my tree coming in with a five-euro donation. Thank you so so much, my tree. Very, very much appreciated, man. Because the LED lights in the Zebo are custom, and American doesn't have them in real life. Delta does have them on their 7.3s and United as well, but you can set. All right, sweet. Thanks so much, Maitri. 
Much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful, dude. Thanks so much for that. Very, very cool. All these knowledgeable people letting me know. Uh, T-Storm, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? Welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. Professor Kidman, thanks so much, dude. Niels is here. How are you, Niels? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you're doing well. Um... Droid 12 got in here and nearly finished his delivery. I'm not sure. What Muha am I using? Uh, Chris, I'm using a converted. I converted one myself with my friend. Look at that. American. I guess we can get those lights off now, too. And here is 18,000 feet standard barrel. Left side and right side. We might as well get this guy here as well. Standard. All right, sweet, and uh, we can get the seatbelt. I already had it to the off position. Wonderful, seatbelt to the off position. You guys can go pee if you gotta go pee. Now's the time. Gonna have to reset all these views. So this is which view is this? That is nine. All right, let me uh, go control nine. We'll go to seven. That one needs to go up just a little bit. There we go. Control seven. What about this one, that one needs to go up just a tad as well. All right, control two. And that one needs to go up a little bit as well. All right, there we go. Sweet. I prefer my wing views from inside the cabin where you set the window ledge. Yes, I don't I don't like the window ledge, Niels. I don't like having like the window in the way. No, get out of here with that shit. Blocks like half of your view. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your oh. Escobar. Passenger Escobar. Very fitting. This is in regards to a special meal. Would you please identify yourself to a flight attendant? Go to Miami. Passenger Escobar, please. And Mr. Escobar's on board today. Oh boy. Only just seen your message. Uh, yeah, I'll send the fix over. Definitely better make a backup first. Sounds good, Nick. Sounds good, man. Escobar, right? <laughs> oh boy. Too much fun, man. With a passenger Escobar. I love how they say it too. It's like, yeah, we're totally trying to get your attention right now. Passenger Escobar. Oh, boy. Mr. Escobar. Uh, I have bad shimmering like uh, you when you think it's going to get fixed. What do you mean bad shimmering, Josh? Where do you see bad shimmering? Hey, Cal. Bye, Active Sky. Hey, man. Good to see you again. Jake, how are you, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you're doing well. Do I have three computer screens? I have two. I have two. Which cloud oh, resolution no, do you use for the HD cloud pack? 2K! 2048 by 2048. I don't know who he's talking to. That may have been me. Take that as a maybe? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. In fact, the sim preview, the Zebo version, that apparently is the best version of VNAV yet, should be, uh... Nice. Should be an emoji of Escobar. Ever heard this song, We Are the World? Uh, I think so. Go. Am I out of his airspace? Was, was yeah, that call for me? Let me see. I can, I can barely hear his mic. Oh yeah, we're definitely out of his. Alright, so we're over to Unicom now. 22.8. God damn it, dude. 22.8. I'm fucking buying a new radio this week. I've had enough of this one. 22.8, over to Unicom. Beautiful. All right, sweet. On our way now to Miami, we're at our cruise altitude, 250. Uh, let's go down here. We're going to go to cruise. We can definitely bump this up to like 320 slash 0 0.770. Let's do that. We'll execute that. Good. Um, don't need that open. We're definitely out of his airspace. All right, beautiful. Uh, TBM 900, best aircraft at X-Men 11. Love that thing. Yes, I know. I got to give it a go sometime, man. Listen, I'm still butthurt with the developers, okay? I don't give a shit. There's not very many things I ask for from the developers that I want, like, for free. But, um, I had, I had already, well before release of this airplane, uh, one of, one of the good viewers here put me in contact with the developer, and I was promised a re before release copy to showcase to you guys. They never sent it when I questioned them, but why I never got it, they were like, oh, well... 
because we're selling our plane on X Aviation, it's impossible to give you a version now for free. So you have to pay. And I was like, dude, like, you were supposed to give me a copy of this a month before release. And now you're telling me you're acting like we've never had that conversation? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm still a little buttered about the whole thing. But yeah. Uh, Cap Canada, who has good viewer? What do you mean, booby? Uh, what's going on with 104th Knight? No clue, dude. He's not answering any of my phone calls, text messages, nothing. He's not answering anything. Um, I need some advice on a nice scenery to buy with 25 bucks. It's so damn new to explain. Uh, I'll be buying it next week. The guys, depends, man. Depends what you want, dude. Because X Aviation hates you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Uh, would you ever go to Frank Pace in Hogan? I don't know, maybe. Uh, Justin wants a cabin tour. Yeah, we could do that. I'm just going to throw our tunes on here, guys. There we go. Let's get that. I think we're going with that trap music today. We're going to be bumping that bass for you guys. Pick up a Lanarka. That is a very good one. Lanarka or uh, what's the one that Whatchamacallie did? Fly Tampa. That one is fucking beautiful, too. Here we go, guys. Inside the cabin of the Zebo, First class for all of our mods, donators, and sponsors. Thank you guys so, so much for everything you do for the channel. Absolutely wonderful. And then, of course, premium economy back here for the rest of you. Because economy is not good enough for Captain Canada viewers. You guys deserve premium economy. Night Captain Canada, not friends anymore. I mean, we're friends. He's not answering anybody. Listen to what? Listen to the words coming out of my mouth. He's not answering anybody, man. Uh, he, he's on one of his hiatuses. He's gonna screw off for a couple months and he'll be back, I'm sure. Look out for Escobar. <laughs> Jesus. Can you shout out my name, please? Professor Kinman. Thanks for tuning in today, man. Hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Is that a fucking... Hold the phone. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw an Adidas logo on the back of his head. I was about to be like, what? Damn, first class is small. Take a seat, right? <laughs> Tiny. That's weird. You can go up here, you can get outside sounds. Still in the plane. It's weird. Ride dog in the house. What's up, Ride dog? How are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome in. Hope all is well. There we go, guys. Back inside the pit. Any news on the 737 Max? I wish, Zane. I wish I knew, like, insider news, dude. I really don't. Zane Rehab, some people says that. Re for what? He's not a drug addict. <laughs> He's definitely not in rehab, guys. Holy moly. Oh, boy. Listen, if you're... I mean, you guys... A lot of you guys aren't new to Knight. Knight, Knight goes through these little hiatuses, man. He's got a very... I don't want to speak on his behalf, but I mean, we've all seen it. He looks like he's got a very turmoil relationship going on with his wife right now. So, um, I, I really don't know what's going on, guys. I wish I could explain it. Like I said, I've tried to reach out to him. I, I've tried calling him. I've tried messaging him a couple times. He doesn't want to talk about it. He's not really much else I can do. You guys are just going to have to be patient. What are the best freeware planes for X-Men 11? This right here. This Zebo Mod 737, 100% free, 100% worse every penny. That's why I won't get married, right? That's what I'm saying, man. We fly the Mag Knight soon. Yes, we will. Uh, he is playing DCS. Yes, I see that. He's playing games. That's why I get upset at him. I'm like, dude, you realize you got a little bit of a YouTube following, man. Can't just leave everybody out hanging like that. Stream whenever you want. You gotta have a schedule, dude. Especially if you plan on doing anything with YouTube. Schedule, schedule, schedule. People need to know when to find you, and they need to know that you will show up and be there on the times that you say you will be there. It's like a job. You have to almost treat this YouTube thing like a job. You say you're going to be here, you show up, and you stream. You do your best. That's what it is. Uh, Got to enable that invisible mode. What's that? Peter Hager, really good too. Very nice freeware, but costs a shit ton. <laughs> nice vest. <laughs> Do you like butter? I love butter. Butter's my favorite. <laughs> Pratt P26, what's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Thank you so, so much, dude, for that $2 donation. It goes long time no C-cap. Hope all is well. All is well, Pratt. 
Thank you so, so much, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Very, very much appreciated, man. Hope you are doing well as well, sir. Welcome aboard, man. Thanks so much. Uh, I have liked and subscribed. Professor Kidman, thanks so much, dude. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Flying CYYC to CYUL. Oof, that's a long one, Jim Jack. That's a long one. Is there a freeware live weather plugin? Yes, absolutely, Denali Games. Check out NOAA. NOAA weather pro plugin. NOAA weather plugin. I'm going to put it in chat for you, man. So you can see it. NOAA. That is what I used before I started moving to payware. So it does work. It works pretty well, actually, believe it or not. You'll get good stuff. Like anti-aliasing by airports, no matter what. Uh, I do nothing. Fix it. Josh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You have, like, weird little lines at the airport. I have them too, man. Um, they really only go away if you run 8 times anti-aliasing. Now, I can run 8 times anti-aliasing, but for some reason, OBS absolutely hates its life when I run 8 times anti-aliasing in the sim. It's like OBS can't keep up no matter what I do. 60 FPS in the sim, 10 FPS in OBS. Can't explain it. Don't know why it does it. So unfortunately, we've had to roll back to four times anti-aliasing. So get 4K and disable. I mean, yeah, Niels, it's it's awful for streaming though, dude, man. Like you have to up res or lower res the stream. It's just no, no good. I've thought about it, but it's just no good. You grow with consistency as a streamer. You got it, LinkedIn. That's it, man. You got it. Uh, can you talk about your ortho? Aravi, what would you like to know, dude? Absolutely, man. Ortho, ortho setup, that is. Uh, the way that I have it configured on my PC. So I have a 8-terabyte uh, NAS drive. Uh, Western Digital 7200 RPN NAS. For those of you guys that don't know what a NAS drive is, um, the easiest way for me to explain a NAS drive, it is a mechanical drive, but basically a NAS drive is always, always, always... Uh, like 100% ready to read and write. Um, so yeah. Uh, I run 4K. I see a bit difference between four times and zero. Yeah, no, Booby, I understand. I, I get that. What, what I'm concerned about is the actual stream. Like OBS won't stream to YouTube in 4K. I mean, it will, but like my bit rate will just be absolutely crushed. The quality will probably go out the window. So I'd have to down res it. So I'd have to do... 4K on my screen, down res to 1920 by 1080 on OBS, and back, and it's, it just becomes a nightmare. And then, do you guys remember Avid, Avid Aviator? That's what he was doing. And do you guys remember all the issues that Avid had trying to get OBS to downgrade resolutions and stuff? Oh boy, it's 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 a nightmare. Ravi, no worries, man. No worries at all, dude. Yeah, I have an 8 terabyte NAS drive, Ravi, and I have it sim linked. So there's actually a program. It's like a shell. Uh, you can do it through your command prompt. Uh, so basically what I do is I have a... Basically I have a mirrored um, folder that represents my X-Plane um, custom scenery. Um, so basically what happens is when I have ortho, I drag and drop it into my 8 terabyte and then I create a sim link. And I sim link the folders to one another. So the ortho is actually drawing from a whole other hard drive it sounds complicated it really isn't <laughs> uh why did avid leave youtube he was having too many issues man too many issues with obs and resolutions and all that stuff dude he's over on uh he's over on what's macaulay now all right guys let's get 3,000 feet plugged in here we're looking ready for our top of descent about five miles we're gonna get 3,000 feet plugged in beautiful There's no any good freeware aircraft. Christian, this guy right here, man. Zebo Mod, 737, my man. Uh, you might want to use a Razor Cortex. It improves OBS performance quite a bit. Really? Uh, I'll take a look, dude. I will take a look. Um, Canada, can I get some no floaties to just have a bit of a rough morning? That I was really frustrated and threw my phone down and it cracked part of the bottom. Ah, no good. Guys, can we get a huge no floaties in chat? For our good friend T-Storm, our moderator, let's get a huge no floaty. He's having a shitty morning. Hopefully these no floaties will, uh, will help him out. If you got them, guys, spam those no floaties in chat now. We have started our descent into Miami. 
I am going to update the weather here in Miami. Weather is KMIA 350 at 5. All right. Altimeter 3006. Beautiful. Why do I no longer use my yoke, Alex? I'm not a fan of it, dude. It's, uh, I've had that SciTech yoke for the better part of six or seven years now, man. It probably has thousands, thousands of hours on it. It's all, it's finished. <laughs> it's finished, dude. It's finished, man. We got Ravi coming in with the $2. Thanks so much, Ravi. Much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. He goes, thanks for explanation, uh, RE Ortho. Butter it out. Thanks so much, Rabbi. Much appreciated, my friend. Hopefully we can butter it out for you guys. After a year, I finally decided to wash my Captain Canada pilot shirt. Wasn't white anymore. Jesus Christ, Nick. <laughs> out of control, man. Out of control. Razor Cortex basically stops all unnecessary apps when you're gaming. Ah. Okay, I have something similar to that. NVIDIA has something similar. I don't know how I feel about those, if I'm being honest with you. Because usually it shuts down a lot of, like, extra things that I need in the background. Like, you guys don't understand. I have... Let me count how many programs. We have one, two... Obviously three. Well, you know what? Yeah, that has to stay. Three, four, five, six... So I have six programs running in the background. Not including OBS. Um, not including uh, Google Chrome with all my tabs open and that kind of stuff. So, boy, oh boy. Boopy, take care, my friend. Thanks for coming to tune in today, dude. Absolutely wonderful. Glad to have you back on board, man. You have yourself a wonderful afternoon, my friend. Or, I guess, evening all the way in Croatia. Oh, Niels is going somewhere. My bad. All right, Niels. Take care, my friend. <laughs> Not Booby. Thought it was Niels. Take care, Niels. Have yourself a wonderful afternoon, man. I know it's evening for you. Niels, yeah, I know. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> Evening from New York City. CZM, how are you, buddy? Welcome aboard, my friend. All the way from New York City. Thanks for coming to hang out with us today, man. Hello from Thailand. Smonty. Oh boy. Got viewers from everywhere today. My goodness, man. All right, so we updated the weather. Altimeter is 3006. We're going to be doing that here at 18,000 feet in North America. There we go. Let's get 3006 plugged in. That's going to be Approaching. captain side, first officer side, 3006. Beautiful. And uh, we'll reset this guy here as well. 3006. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's go look down here, guys. And I'll show you pretty much everything that we do with this. Uh, song? Are you loud? It's okay, it's a good song. We'll jam to it. All right, uh, so we're gonna be doing the, we don't want these. Uh, oh shit, yeah we do, we want Miami. Okay, and we want this guy. And then we want approaches. And we want ILS 3-0. Beautiful. All right, so we see that our localizer index is 111.7. Let's go down here, we'll get 111.7. Plugged in here. Beautiful. We'll switch that over. Good. We got that in there. And we need a final approach course of 304. Beautiful. So we'll get that ready to go here as well. We'll get 304 plugged in, left side and right side. 304. Beautiful. Good. I can't believe we're landing runway 30 in Miami. I swear it's been like a year since I've got to land runway 30 coming in over the city. This is going to be a beautiful approach, guys. Too bad it wasn't nighttime. Be even nicer nighttime. Uh, designated height, 250 feet. Should be good. There we go. Move it to nighttime? No, we're flying real world time. Alright, so we can see here that we need Sean. Uh, Shane, what do we have here in our things? I think it just goes direct to oldie. Mm, no, let's put Shane in. Is it S-H-A-A-N? No, S-H-A-N-N. -N. Alright, so we're going to get that here. Uh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Erase. Good. 
Good. That's what we wanted. Alright, we're looking good here. Sweet. So that's all set up here, guys. We're going to leave that the way that it is right there. So we keep an eye on that. We need to be at 3,000 for Shen. 3,000 for Oldie. And then we'll make our descent from Oldie. Alright, sweet. Looking good. 12,000 feet here. You know what I'm going to do is I'll vector ourselves before we get to... Yeah. Alright. Avid Aviator is doing GA around the world. Yeah, he's on. What's up, Carl? How are you, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Uh, overcast weather today in Miami and 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, baby. Uh, yeah, it's a scattered at 11,000, broken at 16,000, overcast at 3,000. Sorry, scattered at 1,100, broken at 1,600, overcast at 3,000. Wow. Yeah, that's not very nice weather at all. Not at all. All right, let's get some uh, spoilers out here, guys. We need to slow this bad boy down. Approaching 10,000 feet. We can go get our fixed lights on here as well. American Aviators here. You fly to Havana with me? Sweet. Sounds good, man. Which delivery we used on the next flight? Wow Airlines. Oh, baby. What is the name of this song? Great question, man. This song is called Breeze by A-G-S-T. Breeze. Let me get that in here for you. Breeze. A-G-S-T. Not Y. Just A-G-S-T. Watch out for that crosswind on 3-0. It's not too bad. Winds are 350 at 5. No, we're fine, dude. We don't have a crosswind at all. We Gucci, man. You can edit the settings so you want to shut down the Razor Cortex. Okay, cool. Interesting. Do you know how to manually install the nav data for Navigraph for the Flight Factor A320? Absolutely, Jim Jack. Very easily. 10,000 feet, guys. Make sure our seatbelts are on. You guys are all sitting down. 240 knots looks great. We'll go ahead and arm our spoilers here. Make sure our auto brake is on position 2 as well. We will be vacating the runway to the right. Newbie Cap Canada, how are you, Sir Lennox from German? How are you, man? Welcome aboard, dude. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Cap Canada Chat, what is the best general aviation plane I should buy? Callum, that's a great question, man. Depends what you're looking for, dude. Do you want a little jet? Are you looking for a prop? I would definitely say look at Aerobasque. Aerobasque makes probably some of the best GA planes, in my opinion. Uh, I live in Miami, though. I was born in Cuba. Thanks for the flight today. Very cool, DVA. Very, very cool, man. Glad we could do this for you, dude. Thanks so much for that $5 donation. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you so, so much, man. Have you ever crashed? Yes, unfortunately, we have. Pretty badly, too. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It wasn't like one of those maybe he crashed. Yes. There is a triple seven floating off the coast of St. Martin. Somewhere. <laughs> you have to go find it. You don't need to manually install Navdat if you use Navigraph. Aw, oh, Dan, I hate that the Navigraph doesn't work for me. Uh, K, I would not agree, but I think the TBM 900 surpasses all the Aerobasques. And you know I have them all. True, true. So I guess, yeah, okay. My bad. I, I see, for me, I keep forgetting that the TBM is even released... It's that price tag, man. It gets me every time. It gets me every time, dude. I like. I don't even consider it to be a GA because of that price point now. So, yeah. No, I'll probably agree with Booby. The TBM, from what I've seen, from what I've heard, yes. What happened to Dixie Normus? You guys are out of control, man. Don't give Cameron ideas. Just got the S550 end of. I mean, the S550 is great as well. That is confirmed. Alright, I'm going to put us on a little bit of some Vectorinos here, guys. Because uh, we're going to be making like a silly turn at VKZ if we do this. So I'm going to put us on Vectors. 180 heading direct to Sean. Let's do that now.
Uh, is there any add-ons, uh, like, better pushback for P3D? Uh, yeah, P3D actually has probably better. They have, uh, what the hell is the thing that they have over there on, uh, ground handling? I forget what the hell it's called. I'm sure one of you guys will help me out. GSX, there you go, yes, thank you. MobyS is a black screen. Uh, you know a fix? Uh, Vertex, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to screen record game capture? What's going on? He captures a flight where you simulate emergencies. I mean, we do do that sometimes. Uh, Ford Raptor guy. So here's my plan on it, dude. I'll just try and explain it as as best as I can. If I if an emergency is going to happen in the simulator, I want to catch myself off guard. If you know what I mean. I'm not really one of those that likes to pre-plan the emergencies because then I can basically sit here and practice till I'm blue in the face off camera. If I want an emergency to happen, I don't want to know about it. I want to be able to have to react and adapt, kind of like you guys, and I think that makes for a much better visualization, so to speak. Um, I'm not really one for planned emergencies because, like I said, it's just, I already know what I'm going to do. Oh, there goes my engine. I better do this. Whereas, you know, if we're going along and we're flying and it goes, holy shit, you know what I mean? Like, what the hell just happened and we got to figure it out? That is way more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, we flew inside a storm, so the crash kind of didn't count for me. That's true. We did fly directly into the eye of a hurricane in a 777 with a broken-ass flight model. <laughs> How can you get the airport charts for landing uh, faster than game? I mean, you could just search it online. I'm sure they're all available online somewhere, whether they're up to date or not, I'm not sure. I use Navigraph. Can somebody, uh, one of the mods, um, one of the mods put it in, uh, in chat for him? The link to Navigraph? Like the engine loss in Canada? Exactly, you got it, man. Just tuned in, what approach are we doing for? Ian, we are doing a runway 3-0 into Miami. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't like what the speed's doing here, so I'm going to switch that. I'm going to start lowering that speed here. I don't know why it stopped at 3,000 feet. I'm just going to go to vertical speed here. 1,000 feet per minute should be good. And I'm going to bring that speed down. I'm going to look for about 220 knots. God damn it, Smitty! Holy moly, Smitty Smitty coming in with another $100 donation. Can I get a huge damn it, Smitty in chat, please? <laughs> damn it, Smitty! Thank you so, so much, Smitty, for the support, man. Very, very much appreciated. What does Smitty say? He goes, damn it, buy the hot start TBM, damn it. All right, Smitty. Smitty's, that's, I, if Smitty's telling me to, I have to now. So that's it. No more excuses. TBM 900 coming soon to Captain Canada's channel near you. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Smitty. Huge no floaties, guys, in chat for Smitty. Absolutely insane. Thank you so, so much, Smitty, man, for the continued support this month. Absolutely insane. Wow. That, that's legendary, man. Absolutely legendary right there, my friend. Jesus. Smitty. Song name. This is... Hey, that, this is a weird one. Hold on. I got to write this down. This song is called Tay. I think this is what it is. Tay by Oi. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? This this song is little look at like look at it. This one the song is called Tay by Oi. <laughs> Holy Like how you Caribbean soon, why don't you fly to Jamaica next flight? That's exactly where we're going, bro. Jamaica. We're gonna hit up the Cayman Islands and then Jamaica tomorrow. It's gonna be absolutely wonderful. Uh, hello from uh, Save for Brazil. Commendos, what's up dude? Welcome, welcome. Slow down. Yeah, we're going a little bit fast, aren't we? Oh shit, I missed my waypoint. Alright, well we're gonna go we're gonna vector back this way then. My bad. We're dealing with Smitty. It's okay, Smitty, you're worth it. We had to burn off some altitude anyways, so we're good. Jamaica man. Sounds like an Aussie band, right? Oi! <laughs> I'm actually going to pause the music here, guys. Let's pause that music. We're going to do a uh, big old left turn here, back and get ourselves around. Speed looks good. I'm going to get like 207 knots plugged in. Let's go flaps position 5. Good, good, good. What airport in Jamaica? Uh, we're going to go to both, I think. We're going to go to both. Camp Canada, did you update 11.31? If yes, how's the performance according to 
the sim did do an update this morning. I don't know if it did it update to 11.31. I don't know what happened. It's a great question. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Should probably check these things before I stream. I just it like just started, so I was like, ah, oh, okay. Xplain was doing its own thing this morning. Is Dash Q400 Xplain a good aircraft? No, not right now, David. It will be. They are working on it, so it should be. Um, Monica's enjoying this evening. Jesus Christ, Bill. Oh, Billy boy. Never let me down, Bill. <laughs> Who is Monica? Monica Lewinsky? You better know who Monica Lewinsky is. What do Jamaicans eat? A beer can sandwich. Hey, now. I fucking love Jamaica, dude. I've been to Jamaica so many times. Probably one of my favorite places to go on vacation. Jamaica, Jamaica, or Dominican. Dominican's a great place to go. If you've never been, highly suggest hitting up the Dominican. Probably some of the nicest people you will ever meet. Um, the Dominican locals. I always have an absolute blast every time I go. Top third slag in the world. What's that? Uh, BSS 1.3 sounds hotter than Monica. I'm excited. I'm excited. I haven't even listened to them, dude. We're going to do this all together on stream. So it should be very, very interesting. All right, we are direct. Sean, Shan, whatever the hell you want to call it. We're direct that now. We should be good. Uh, i got to make sure the game is running for you guys. Wonderful. All right, it is. You haven't tested it? Yeah, neither have I, Vess. Should be good, man. What's my favorite place besides Jamaica? I don't know, man. Too many. Let's go view our localizer. Grabbing the localizer now. We're going to let them know here. KMIA traffic. 10 nautical mile final 3 0. All right, we good. 190 on our speed looks great. We got flap position 5. Auto brake is set position 2. Everything is on, on. Ooh, baby. Good, my friends. Actually, we'll get our logo light on. We'll get our wing light on here as well. What well, plugins gives me these clouds? This is X Enviro 1.07 S. Oh, got downtown Miami. This is why I love this approach, man. Get to come in right on downtown Miami at night. This approach is, oh, my lord. There's our airport. There's our runway. Runway 30 right in front of us. Looking good. All right, let's hit our approach switch as well. Single channel. Yes. Is it DD Miami? Affic. So <laughs> I decided to do myself a little project. It is a conversion. It is DD converted with uh, who the hell? Just Sim? Or who's the other guy that did the other Miami? It's a mesh. So I basically used Derzeki's downtown and then I'm using the other, I forget, Nimbus, thank you, Nimbus. And then I'm using Nimbus's actual airport. Uh, kind of weird, I know. Uh, the guy that helps me do all my conversions actually showed me how to do this. So it's really neat, actually. It, it run, you better get a 8 gigabyte graphics card to run this minimum. Minimum 8 gigs to run this scenery like this, though. Confirmed. Uh, let's go to NitRef here. We're going to be doing a Flaps 40 arrival. Here comes our glide slope indicator coming up alive here. Let's go over here. We'll get a beautiful view of Miami as we come in. Coastline. Rip users with 1050s? Yes. <laughs> Rip indeed. Well, only if you want to run this scene. You don't have to run it just like this. I mean, good luck getting it to, to work properly as well. That was the biggest issue. All right, there we go. Gear down. Flaps position 15. Let's get our final approach speed plugged in here. 141. Beautiful. Alrighty, everybody get your landing rates in now. Get them in now, my friends. So this is my CPU is what's bottlenecking. I'll be upgrading once I start my new job. Sounds good, American. What, you're 6700? I find that hard to believe, man, that the 6700's causing that. Let's go flaps 25 here, guys. And flaps 30. Man, this thing slows down quick. Holy. And flaps full. Downtown Miami. I'm going to be taking my talents to South Beach. 
who remembers that? Abdullah coming in with a $15 donation. Thank you so, so much, Abdullah, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. He goes, hello, Cap. Uh, when do you live stream? I forgot. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thank you so, so much, Abdullah, for the support, man. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you so, so much for uh, doing the channel. One of the mods, I'm sure, can, can bump that open for you as well. All right, how are we looking up here? Looking good. All right, it's going to be my airplane here, guys. My airplane, my throttles. Thank ya, thank ya. All right, looking for 141. Landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are full, spoilers are armed, auto brake is set, position two, cabin crew has been advised. We've been given clearance to land. Let's butter this one out. We got Sam, one, two, one, coming in with a dollar, two dollar donation. Thank you so, so much, Sam, for the support. Very much appreciated. Let's butter this 100 on final for FL right now. Hell yeah, dude. Butter this shit together, my friend. One thousand. Checked. One thousand feet stabilized, Mr. Burch Allen. We got Ian Reese Jones coming up with a two pound donation of butter. I'm gonna do my best, my friend. Thanks so much, dude, for that donation. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Absolutely wonderful, man. Thanks so much. Five hundred. I love this arrival into three zero. Love doing this. This guy's lining up and waiting. Hopefully, he said he was. 300. Two hundred. Continue. Light slow. What? How? Light slow. We're perfect. Light slow. Shush your face. Approaching minimums. One hundred. Light slow. Light slow. Light slow. Fifty. Forty. 30, 20, 10. Open those reversers, hold that nose. What a massive float. Nose down gently, through the D-cell, maintain that center line. Hey man, I'm all off with this plane right now. Stole those reversers, over to manual braking. We'll go ahead and vacate the runway here to the right. Hello? Just gonna stay on the runway. <laughs> it doesn't want to move. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck is going on right now? Hello? Alright, sweet. Well. Now reverse isn't enabled. That's reverse. Literally, like, we can't move. Alright, well, plugins. <laughs> Disconnect. Press B on keyboard. What the fuck? How did you guys know that? How the hell did you guys. How was the park break on? What? The park brake was not on. The brake is glitched. Okay. All right. So the brakes are glitched in this. Because the, the park brake definitely was not on. We would have seen that illuminated. That was the weirdest goddamn thing ever. Okay. So fire up our APU. It sticks sometimes. Never had that happen to me ever. Really? Damn, dude. I mean, we had auto brake position too. But, uh... 
Interesting. Okay. Landed lights coming off. <laughs> Jesus, man. That was weird. Logo light can stay on. Wing lights coming off. Make sure our strobe lights are off here as well. APU is on the fire up. We are turning right back towards the airport. Blake glitches happened to you yesterday? Very interesting. I've never had that happen. That's why I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, I never would have hit the park brake. Well, here, you know what? We can log back into Squawk Box now. My bad for everybody flying with us. I just didn't want to cause the guy to do a go-around behind me. Uh, you've only seen it on the new update. All right, cool, interesting. Got you. See, it's a good thing we got off the runway for him because he landed. Auto brake position two, engage lock brakes upon landing. What? No. What? Really? That's not a thing, is it? Can't be. Taxi lights on. Runway turnoffs coming off here, guys. Um, happens on push as well. Damn, really? That's odd, man. Never seen that happen. Never seen that happen to me before. Well, thank you guys for letting me know to push B. Get that guy up and running. APU gens coming on. APU bleeds are coming on. Engine bleeds are off. Right doesn't practice failures? What do you mean? You've said this joke in the past three streams. I saw it last two. We get it. Wait, what's going on? I don't know. Parking brake was on uh, just by half. You can have it half or total? No. No. You can pull the park brake. Can't have it half. Approaching. Now's a good time to say if you guys haven't done so already, please make sure you smash down that like button, guys. Let's get this video up to as many likes as we can. That would be very, very much appreciated. Let's get ourselves to the gate here, and then we'll take a look at that replay. Broken-ass replay. Uh, I'm flying this plane really, really weird right now, too. I really think that the... I don't... I, can anybody attest to this to me, or is this just me maybe being a little bit silly right now? Has anybody noticed that the ground effect since 11.30 is just way, way, way too much? Like... I, I don't understand right now, like, it's almost like you have to relearn how to fly these planes, like, all over again, because it's just too much is going on. Way too much is going on. The flight model is really bad. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, something just doesn't feel right right now uh, about, I, I just, don't, I, f I swear, like, at, like, 20 feet, the plane just wants to keep going at the runway. Like, it doesn't want to descend. It doesn't want to do anything. Like, you almost have to, like, not flare at all. Just fly it into the runway. No flare, no nothing. Because the ground effect is just, it's out of control right now. Like, it's so strong. It's like there's, like, a 50-knot ground pressure pushing up at you. It's really, really weird, man. Really weird. Damn, you have a 271 to 0 ratio? What's that? I don't even know what the hell that is. They screwed with the airfoil? Huh, weird. Uh, we got Ravi coming up with the $2. So what's going on, Larry David? Thank you so much, Ravi. Much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. How the problem with Zebo one approach? It can't hold the speed. It stalls at like 125. Yeah, I don't know, man. Something something just doesn't feel right about the Zebo right now. All the other planes seem to fly fine. It's just the Zebo. I have this very weird... It's like it just like refuses to flare and anytime I try and flare it and you're gonna see in the replay when I would usually start my flare watch what happens it's like the pain just like almost snaps and it just floats the runway and then you have to like cut throttles push down on your joystick get it to like start a, de a descent path again and then it'll kind of pop its way in I don't know man it's been acting really really weird for me I I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one that feels it's been it's been acting weed, weird, but uh, yeah, very, very odd. Uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one, because I noticed that the past couple times we've been flying, I think I may have even said something the last stream that we were flying. Because so I was like, I don't know, man, something doesn't feel right about this plane right now. I like what they've done with uh, with 3.32, but it just doesn't feel right. It feels like we need some like severe tweaking. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Alright, I'm going to shut up now. Park break's going on. APU is on, APU bleed is on, wonderful. APU gens are on as well. Engine number one is coming off, engine number two is coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire flight crew, we'd like to welcome you to Miami International Airport. We did butter it, but we floated the hell out of it. Flying turtle, nice. 
Awesome. We did float the fuck out of it. I'm going to call this thing the fucking floaty machine here until I figure out how the hell to fly it again. Holy. All right, let's go to plugins. Let's go ahead and disconnect from Squawk Box. Let's toggle replay mode. Let's back the sucker up here, guys. We'll take a look at that flotastical landing, shall we? Uh, we'll go shift three. We'll even take a look from the runway here. Uh, that is... Hello? Thank you. All right, we'll take a look at this here, guys. Where's my music? Thank you, music. BSS, 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 BSS! Should be a good one, man. We'll be flying WOW Airlines, too. Oh, boy. Cut the replay short and abrupt stopped, right? <laughs> Watch, watch, there you go. See how it just hovers? It just hovers, and you literally have to like force it down. Look at that. Like the plane should not be doing that. When I cut the throttles, like it should not, like I, do you guys see that, right? Like it's not me. It literally just like refuses to touch down. Watch, right here. That's cut throttle, no throttle. It should not be doing that. Then I actually have to like force the now nose down again, right there. I'm actually having to like, force it down it I don't know man it feels really really weird it doesn't feel right to me like it's close it's not far off like the flight model it just there's something about it that just I, I think needs a little bit of tweaking we can say we stuck the landing here right <laughs> after we floated for a bit I had to figure out what the hell was going on it's like the ground is near for the plane that's exactly it lemon that's a perfect way of explaining it it's almost like the airplane thinks the ground is 20 feet higher than it is. It, it's really, really weird. I don't think it's X Enviro, because X Enviro has nothing to do with the, like, the, the ground effect or anything like that. There it is, right there, again. It just seems to, like, not want to go down. And that's me, like, physically forcing the plane down with my joystick. It's, I don't know, man. Something, something a little bit strange about it. It's never flown like that before for me, so, I don't know. It's weird. And you'll really see it on this view. All right, let's take a look at the landing rates here. We got Lorik in first place with 102. Very well. We got American Aviator in second place. Hell yeah. And we got Callum Neal in third place. Well done, my friends. Damn. All of you guys within two. Try to cut the thrust at 50 feet. Yeah, I'm going to have to start, Julian. I'm going to have to. You need experimental flight model on? It is on, Booby. It is on, my friend. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, it's ever since I've had that on, it just, I don't know, it feels weird, man. Maybe like somebody mentioned, I gotta cut my throttles a lot earlier. Maybe that's the case, maybe I'm just doing it a little bit wrong. I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyways, guys, not to worry. We got a butter. We made it safely. Just, you know, just sharing my thoughts. I think the flight model needs a little bit of tweaking. And then it just sits here on the runway. Yeah, all right, sweet, awesome. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're gonna throw it to the B right back screen, gonna load into our 320, and I will see you guys in about five minutes.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hopefully, I didn't take too long. Oh, baby. Look what we're flying today. Holy. This will be some fun, won't it, my friends? Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow Airlines. Somebody was asking me, like, Cam, why are you flying Wow Airlines? They don't do this flight. Yes, they do. <laughs> we're at, wow Airlines is about to go. Wow Air, I guess we should call them. They're about to go broke. Um, so they're definitely trying to, uh, fly as much as possible everywhere that they can go. So this should be a, a lot of fun. He says, wow, that's a loud livery. Yes, it is. So without further ado, guys, because I am very excited. I can't wait to hear these sounds, to be honest with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump inside the pit here of the beautiful Flight Factor A320. Oh, baby. Been a minute since we've been in this bad boy. First things first, let's go ahead and grab our ground power. We're going to go to fuel. We're going to call him. We're going to go to passengers. We're going to go to gate config. We'll open that. We'll go to cargo. Call and call. Beautiful. All right, let's head up top here. We're going to go ahead and go external power available. Battery one, battery two. Beautiful. What's oh, those sounds? Woo. All right, let's get our nav set here. Left, right, and Approaching. middle. Beautiful, looks good. Uh, did BSS, I just want to make sure. I want to see, ah, okay. Um, so, master external, I probably want like 15%. Uh, people I want it like 15%, yeah. APU will say like 50%. Systems, I don't know, 70%. Life. 30%. Enviro ground, like 25%. Weather, zero. The fuck out of here with that weather. And master external, we'll put it to like 80? Sure, we'll leave it at 100. We'll see what that sounds like. Um, wow, is this better version of Tolis? <laughs> Alright, sweet, so everything looks good there. Adiru's on the line. Let's get our nav and local light on. Seatbelts on, no smoking on. We'll arm our emergency exits here as well. Alright, sweet. Let's go down here in it ref. We are going from KMIA Miami into where the hell are we going? Muha, Muha, Muha. Beautiful. We'll throw that in there. We'll go to return. Go to IRS init. Confirm a line on reference. Beautiful. Looking good. Flight number. We are wow. 2066. No, not two two zero six six. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. Um, all right, so that all looks good. Beautiful. Let's go over here to our electronic flight bag, shall we? I'm going to go to fuel here. Fuel for today's flight we need. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes. So, somebody was saying that this doesn't work. I'm going to test this. Yeah, see, it doesn't work. And I know what it is now. I'm going to go to uh, plugins, enable, disable. We need to look for skunk crafts updater and disable it. Where the hell are you? Oh, fuck. This may be a headache. Skunks. Look at all this. Look at all this shit that I need to fucking delete. Holy man. Skunk craft updater. It's somewhere in here. I know that it's here. And that's what's making it so you can't type. I was watching someone stream and they found this out the other day and I was like, Ah! You're a fucking genius. Uh, maybe I don't even have it. Uh, Approaching. Uh, ground traffic, airfoil labs, X-Jet? I don't even know what the hell that is. Train radar, simple FMC, SAM, Python, ground handling, gizmo, fly with Lua, data ref, data ref, CF loader, better pushback, auto gate. Give me a second, I know... Okay, well, I don't see it, so me, I don't know what the hell's going on then. I don't see it. That's that's how they got it working on their stream the other day. It was weird. Uh, we got Tegless coming to the 20 Norwegian Cronin. Thank you so, so much, man, for the support. Very, very much appreciated. It says, hello, I love your channel. You are my inspiration. Well, thank you so much, dude, for those kind words. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, Tegless with the subscription and Augusta Nubis with the subscription as well. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. Very, very much appreciated, guys. Absolutely wonderful. Um, all right, sweet. So, uh, fuel for today's flight. Over to Simbri. Fuel says we need 6,800. So, I'm going to... Wait. Yeah, 6,800. So, I'm going to try and bring this down here. 60... 
please go to 68. All right, that's close enough. We'll set that. Perfect. And then we're going to go to our perf data here. And it's saying a zero fuel weight of 46. We need a zero fuel weight of 60.5. So I'm going to go to passengers. I'm going to go to full, and I'm going to set that. And then I'm going to go to my perf data. That's 53, so we need uh, about 7,000. Just shy of 7,000 added. So let's go to services. We'll go to cargo. Uh, if it's already at that, so we need that to read about 7,900. That should be good right about there. We'll set that. Let's go to our perf data. 60.4. We're supposed to be 60.5. I'm going to take 60.4. No problem. All right, sweet. So let's go down here. We're going to go to uh, our second page of init ref. We're going to go weight requests. 60.4 with a zero fuel weight config of 29.0. Block fuel of 6.8. Beautiful. That is exactly what we need. All right, cool. Um, so let's go to flight plan here. Miami departures. We are planning a departure out of runway 30 via the Minate 2 departure. Go ahead and insert that. Beautiful. From Minate, we're going to go direct to Lulz. L... Where are you? L-U-L-L-L-L-S. Yes, Lulz. All right, we'll throw that in there. Insert that from Lulz. We're going to jump to an you. airway here. So we're going to go to airways. We're going to use the Boobeeb special. Hopefully it'll take us to Kanoa. Uh, we should be looking for Yankee 1... Yankee 196, if we put that here. And there it is. Thank you, Booby, for that ultimate trick. Uh, there we go. So we got Kanoa in there. And then from Kanoa, we're going to jump on the arrival path here. We are planning the ILS runway 6 via the entry to arrival. Kanoa transition. Insert that. Beautiful. If we scroll down, we shouldn't see any discounts, which we do not. Lovely. Happy with that. Very good. It's already aligned? Holy shit, look at that. Beautiful. All right, sweet. Let's go back to our initialization page here, guys. Cost index is going to be 35. We're going for a cruise level. I've, once again, I forget. I never take the cruise level that Simbrief gives me because it's always... they want Simbrief wants 38,000 feet. It's like, no. It's a 300 mile nautical mile flight. Oh, fuck. I'm in an Airbus, too. All righty, cost index 35, flight level 340. That should be fine. We should probably do 320, but that's fine. Uh, let's go over to our perf page here, guys. We'll pop this guy open. Head over here. We'll go to perf data on this side. All right. Go on flaps 2 slash up 0, 0.0. Wonderful. We're going to be flexing up to... What do we want to do today? 65 should be fine. Uh, VR speed 129. V2 133. We'll put our V1 is 126. And with all of that, guys, our pre-flight is complete. Beautiful. Let's go up top here. Make sure all of our fuel pumps left side, center, and right side. Let's go ahead. APU master start switch is on. You hear it start to do its thing. We'll go over here. We'll go to services. We're going to go ahead and close our door. Uh, passengers, I'm going to close that. Cargo, close and close. Fuel truck can be removed here as well. We don't need him. APU master start switch is going on. Wonderful. Let's go to plugins. We're going to go to better pushback. Let's go to start hey, pushback. Captain, let me know where you want this thing. Hey, Catstrader. What's up, buddy? All right, so we're going to be going uh, out all the way to here. That should be good. All right, wonderful. Enter that in there. Great news, Captain. Your toe's coming. Nice. All right, let me update uh, the weather. I think it's 3006 here in Miami. It's 3005 now. Let's go ahead and get that. 3005. Beautiful. We're going to get our cruise altitude plugged in here. Let's get three or uh, 34,000 feet. Wonderful. All right. Looks good, guys. APU is on and available. APU bleed is going on. External power is going off. There's the bus transfer. Go to services, supply, ground power off. Just as our pushback gets ready to push us back. A KLM 733. Interesting. All right. Cool. Showing up as a Delta, though. Oh, okay, right. where are your like perf uh, page from? Like V1. Uh, it already happens. You always just select, like, the the airplane will give you its VR and V2 speeds. I usually just take three knots off for my V1. You can take three to four knots off your V1. Uh, KMK, you can click on the back button to the side, then move back the numbers. It will work, but you need to click the uh, black button every time. Which one? Like, this guy? This guy? This one. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. All right, hold on. I'm going to test you. Oh, I, I guess it's not out. Are you talking about these guns? Like these buttons here? Or like the power button? 
Obviously not the power button. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pens inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. There's a negative attitude on the top right of the screen? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. It's all good, dude. It'll fix itself. Beacon light's going on! And let's go ahead and release our park brake. Engine mode selected to the start Here position. Comes the push back. Light them up. Alrighty, engine number two is getting fired up. Oh wait, shit. Is it running? Fuck. It's run it's running off this, isn't it? It is. I'm almost at Havana, 20 miles from descent. Damn, dude. Yeah, lower black when you need to press it uh, to type numbers, but not now. You're on pushback? Yeah, cool. Sweet. All right. Thanks, booby. All right, it's a good start on engine number two. Let's go and fire up engine number one. Fix the call sign? Well, what the hell? Why did it even do that? Oh, it's too big. Uh... Fuck, really? Okay, hold on. I don't even know how the fuck to fix that. How the hell is that too big? The fuck? Hold on. Approaching. See if I can fix this. I don't know if I can fix this to be honest with you. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Like, just like refuses to go. No, it has nothing to do with, with Matt. Nothing to do with Matt. That's Benny overlay in itself. Park brake's on. Engine mode selector back to normal. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. What if I put like low, lowercase? Lowercase works. Something about the double capital L does not work. What if I put wow? All right, we're going to put wow. We'll just put wow. All right? There we go. Now it works. Everybody shut up. Wow. Not Matt's fault. It has nothing to do with Matt, actually. All right, there we go. Wow. 2066. Wow. Wow. Look at that fucking heat blur. Oh, baby. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and select flaps position two for takeoff. Arm our spoilers. Auto brake over to max. RTO. Beautiful. Um, APU is coming off. APU bleed is coming off here as well. Got all that arm. Everyone disconnected. Signal and pen on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. Thanks, man. Where the hell are my charts? There they are. Thank you. Approaching. Okay, so we're gonna go Papa. Take a left up here on Papa. Couldn't get any easier than that. All right, park brakes going off. Approaching. What am I hearing? Why is it like that? That does not sound good at all. The fuck was that? What is that? That's ugly. Why does it sound like that? I thought you guys said this shit was good. The fuck is that?
That's normal now? You like it? What? That's the new engine growl? But that, that's not a fucking growl. That's like... <laughs> somebody blowing in their fucking microphone. What? I mean... That's accurate? Ooh, that sounds fucking good, though. That, okay, me, sorry, I might have spoken too soon. My bad. Don't pay attention to Cap Canada. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Sorry. That's a hairdryer, not a growl. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, I was not ready for that. <laughs> like, I was like, hmm, I don't know about that right now. <laughs> that sounds so weird, dude. All right, hold on. Let's turn these sounds up. Let's fuck. Let's go deaf. That sounds amazing. The whole like that like whole thing sounds amazing. So we're going for Quebec eight. Sounds like afterburners, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. It's weird. Thank you, Delta, for waiting. You're a class act. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, whoever you are. Good man. Tinder girls sound amazing. <laughs> Jesus. Man. Oh, our friend's back. Hey, buddy. That's an aeroplane? Oh yeah, we're sure it's an aeroplane. It always is, man. Pretty sure it's an aeroplane. Alright, so we're going to be making a... I think we actually want to take this... Do we want to take it a little bit further? Oh yeah, we definitely do. We're going to take it all the way down here, and then we kind of go in and around. Ah, uh, we have to cross 2-7. Alright, cool. Yeah, I see it. You need, I need to toga this bitch? Why, we don't want to flex it to 65? We want a toga? Toga toga? <clears throat> you really want to hear the flap sounds? I mean... I can't hear a goddamn thing. I don't hear any flap sounds, that's for sure. <laughs> Dan. Yeah. yeah. Approaching 2-7. Oh, uh, yeah. Not on the flex, we need that toga. All right, we go toga. I'll take that bitch up to toga, don't you worry. I'm about that toga life. Sounds like a microwave, right? Haha, <laughs> 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 pleb, you thought I was taking off of that run, eh? <laughs> Fucking loser. Uh, Kevin Classen coming in with a $2 donation. Thanks so much, Kevin. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Absolutely wonderful. Alrighty, guys. Well, landing lights are three, on. Zero. Strobe lights on. Wing lights on. Nose light over to take off. On we are way. lit up three, like a Christmas zero. tree. Bring those throttles up. I'm going to let you guys listen. Approaching 2-7. Or not. Rotate. Not bad. Fuck. 
Claps up, position one. Claps up clean. Sounds incredible, that's for sure. Autopilot's on through the soup. Let's go ahead and disconnect our ground spoilers. Runway turnoffs can come off, nose light can come off, wing light can come off here as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I'm not quite sure I like, like, the takeoff roll sounds and everything. I think it's a little bit too much. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, Zam121 coming in with a dollar donation. Thanks so much, Zam. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard, man. Thank you so, so much for that. Need to configure the 3D sound as per the manual. That's how you get the best results. All right, booby. I'll take a look. I mean, yeah. I've had this conversation with BSS so many times. I'm like, dude, like, I stream, and I'm usually flying on a network, so I can't have the sounds, because what BSS wants you to do is BSS wants you to turn all of the sounds up in his plugins, and then use your 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 volume mixer, basically, to tune x -plane the way that you want it. Well, it's a little bit hard when you're using, you know, when you're flying on Pilot Edge or VATSIM, because you need to be able to hear the controllers and just lowering the volume down in X-Plane, it's like, well, fuck, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to hear anything. How long did it take you to get the Wing Flex mod on the 777? Uh, Clozo, not too long, man. I actually downloaded a little script and you run it. Do I speak Russian? No. Uh, Cap, is your 12 friend following us today? Yes, he is, absolutely. That's way too loud outside, my bad. It's 10,000 feet, landing lights coming off. We got strobe, beacon, and navs on. Beautiful. Looking good. We'll actually take our seatbelt uh, seatbelt sign off as well. You guys can go to the bathroom if need be. 50 more subs for 24K. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Now's a good time now as well, guys. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash down that like button, guys. Let's get this video up to as many likes as we can before the end of the stream. That would be very, very much appreciated, my friends. Reply to the troller uh, or send him a message he sends you. What will he say? Approaching. Hello, friend. I hear you from Mother Russia land. As for your IP, as for your IP, we here in North America, North America, do not like troll. Do not like troll. Please, please. Please, stop. We don't like. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> I actually sent that to him, by the way. <laughs> Can you guys see that? I sent it to him. Hello, friend. I hear you from Mother Russia. As for your IP, we here in North America do not like the role. Please stop. We don't like. Thanks. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> Why would they ban us? What the hell am I doing? 
I'm not doing anything. I'm telling them, stop. Tried to use PayPal for sponsor, and it says that it doesn't work in Slovenia. Uh, by the way, in Great Britain now for vacation, uh, is that why maybe Cap Slovenia it should work from Slovenia, I think. I thought please to be stopping would be more correct. True. True. <laughs> Can you share the link, please? What do you mean, Clozo? For what? Uh, yeah, I gotta find it. Give me a sec. Uh, uh, Clozo, send me a message on Discord, dude. How the hell are we being racist? What? For speaking with an accent, we're being racist? Russians are white. I'm white. How the hell am I being racist right now? What? You do a walkthrough inside. Now it has different sounds per row seats. Interesting. Interesting. Pretty sure speaking in a Russian accent is not being racist. I'll leave you guys up to that, but, I mean, it, it's an accent. I don't think that's racist at all. <laughs> Alright, here we are inside the cabin. First class for our mods, donators, and sponsors. Welcome, welcome, guys. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. Um... Right here. That's the nicest sound, right here. You get the bass from the back and that buzz saw. Ooh, that's nice, right there. Right there. <laughs> My mom has an Eastern European accent. Does that mean she's racist? I think he was joking, guys. I think we're good. <laughs> All the way at the back of the plane. Damn, it's silent back here. Shit, we're hanging out here, guys. We're just going to get that faint little rumble. Oh. Now we'll walk forward here. Approaching. Mirko Nagy. Thank you so much, Mirko, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Welcome aboard, dude. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Uh, what do you say about that, eh? That's pretty awesome, booby. Pretty awesome. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to have to take his... Uh, I'm not quite sold on those takeoff sounds yet. I don't really like that wind, and I actually saw him make a post on uh, on Facebook about that. I don't think he likes the wind at all. I think he's going to be tweaking it. That's my only complaint. Approaching. I would rather have more bass, more Altimeter like, you know, setting. bass bass, than, um, than having that fake wind sound. Not really a fan of it. Kai Kiki, thank you so much for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome aboard. Yeah, that's my only complaint with it, Booby, but I would like to see more of, like, a, a rumble added instead of that kind of generic wind. I'm not really a fan of the whole wind. Just get out of here with that wind sound. Not not for me. Not for me. The guys! Coming in with a year old donation. Thanks so much, the guys. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome, and thank you so much, dude. Uh, Fly-by-wire system. You pull 10 degrees down the plane holding until you push it up. Yep. You got it, Alex. Uh, Capcan, do you think V1, uh, V2, uh, VR speeds on the tallest are too high compared to the 320? They are a little bit weird, transplanted yank, but that's because of the 319 actually has like a completely different um, system just because of how weird and wonky it is. It's a really short plane. When you look at it in like real life, it's so tiny, man. Uh, yeah, the wind should be corrected. At least that's what he said. I'm loving the rest. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'll send you a PM on Discord after the stream. Close though, sounds good, dude. I'll just provide you with a link, man. Uh, I don't know how to get the wintry look on x 11. Uh, there's a plugin you can buy. I don't know how well it works, to be honest with you. I've never tried it, so I don't really know how well it works, or if it does work. Autopilot is for noobs, yet here you are commenting on one of my videos. What does that make you? The ultimate noob? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me, trying to act Mr. Cool over here. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to come into a live stream and I'm going to act so cool. Call these people nerds. <laughs> You're on fucking YouTube watching my stream. This is stupid. This is fucking stupid, man. I swear to God. Dude, think before you speak. How about that? Lesson of the day today. Let's think before we speak, okay, guys? Because... <laughs> like... <laughs> oh, dear Lord, man. Good evening, Captain. How are you? Skull man, how are you, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Your broken Russian is spot on. Thanks so much, Alan. Much appreciated, my friend. Um, when we go back up to K-Buff and K-Pit area, I'm not sure, J-Drag. We'll see, man. 
we will see. Kev, okay, okay, have you ever flown to TNCA and Aruba before in X-11? Yes, absolutely, my friend. We'll be back. Flying is easy. Just turn on the autopilot. Yeah, there you go, man. I buttered it into Havana. Nice, Lucas. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so Hanley, a six-hour flight. Ooh, no six hours for me, man. Connect brain before opening mouth. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm new. Can I get a shout-out? Space Shuttle 2019. Thanks for tuning in with us today, man. Hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for coming to hang out, dude. That is the lesson of all time. <laughs> right, Passat? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, holy. Sometimes Cap K gets triggered by the funniest things. Well, it's just... It's just, like... You know what triggers me is just the, like, stupidity. Like, people come on here and they're like... Like, I want to know what some people's logic is. Like, I, I that would be just the most amazing experience. I just want to know somebody's logic. Like, why would you... Like, you're watching the video, yet you're going to call us names because we're all here watching the video the same video that you're watching <laughs> like what hello <laughs> so fucking stupid man oh boy some people man i tell ya uh captain did you say earlier that you're running 2k clouds yes absolutely gary yes uh from what i noticed gary there's not really that much of a difference in the actual texturing but it uses about half the vram so that's very important very important Cap okay, I'm off to bed. Uh, got a nice headache. See you tomorrow. Happy landings. Boop beep. Take care, my friend. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Very, very much appreciated, man. Absolutely awesome. Uh, hey, Cap, still remember me? Oliver, plane spotting. Indeed, I do. What's going on, man? Welcome, welcome. Um, what is with North American having to vector every single approach? It fucks my LNAV up every time. Really? Just throw it into, like, vertical speed, man. Shouldn't be too bad. Do you use rudder pedals? Yes, Alex. Indeed, I do. 12-hour flight from Singapore to Istanbul? E, no thank you. Where can I fly from? See ya. Any suggestions? YOW? That'd be a good one. Cap guy helped the kid with x -Plane, and he never turned off his laptop, just closed the lid. Uh-oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Sorry for my name. Uh, but you're the best, and I wish you would read this. My brother made my name. I wish I could play this game and fly with you. I hope you have the best flights in the world. Thank you so much. If you say this is your hard... Jesus. What a name, man. Oh, boy. Not bad. Tampa Bay Squad, what's going on, dude? Gabe, how are you, man? Any good at Descent Doha scenery? Yes. There's a freeware Doha that's excellent that we've flown into before. Um, oh, god damn it. Smitty! Holy shit, dude. Oh, boy. Can I get a god damn it Smitty in chat, everybody? Let's do it. Damn it, Smitty. Just came from YOW. YUL, he could go back the other way. CYQB, awesome Quebec City free scenery as well. Smitty, thank you so, so much, man, for another $100 dono. Absolutely amazing. He goes, damn it, please, please get the attendants to clean up <laughs> Bill and Monica's mess in the lavatories. Damn it, Bill, Monica, what have you guys been doing again? Thank you so, so much, Smitty, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, Smitty. Absolutely insane. Thank you so, so much, my friend. Absolutely nuts. I need to get uh, Smitty. Where is he? Captain of the month. There he is. Smitty. 4,100 bones. Smitty! Live for Putin? Jesus. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cap Cap, are doing a flight from Portland to Boston? Almost running out of fuel in the 320? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pornhub, yo, I need that premium hookup, my guy. <laughs> my ex-wife was Russian. Enough said. Uh-oh, Peely. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got Jordan Todd coming in with a 10 at Nord we, uh, New Zealand dollars. Thank you so, so much, Jordan, for the continued support. It was morning cap. It's been a while. Back at work now. Sadly, back to catching just the Sunday morning streams. Keep it up. This is what I look forward to every week. Jordan, thank you so, so much, dude, for those kind words. Very, very much appreciated, sir. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel and the cause, dude. Very, very much appreciated, man. Absolutely wonderful, dude. Like, how the hell... We're not even going to hit our cruise altitude, are we? Oh, we are. Okay. I was going to say, like, we're coming up on Key West. Haven't been able to see anything below us. We're coming up on Key West. I see, a, like chunks of land down there. 
Damn. Cap, you have to do Dominican flight soon again. Absolutely tatted. I love it, man. Can you pronounce my name fully? Uh, oh boy. Linked. Oh shit, dude. That's why I just call you LinkedIn. <laughs> it's <laughs> Link. Link. Hold on. Link in der Buschlelbung. Yes. Did I know? I killed that. Don't tell me I didn't. <laughs> oh god damn. Uh, Kip K, would you get arrested if you shouted you had a bomb on a plane? Yes, that is a terrible thing to do. Cap Slovenia, thanks so much, dude, for the dollar fifty-one donation. Very, very much appreciated, man. He goes, I will buy a sponsor tomorrow, but let's start with this. Hell yes! Thank you so, so much, my friend. Very, very much appreciated. And we got Chris LA coming in with a fifteen dollar donation as well. Thank you so, so much, Chris, for the support. It's gonna pop up right after this one, and there we go. Here it comes. There we go. Thanks so much, Chris, for the support as well. He goes, damn it, Smitty. <laughs> Huge no floaties and damn it, Smitty, going to Chris LA. Thank you so, so much, dude, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, man. His lame literally means link in the description, which is uh, why I celebrate it so much. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, there we go. <laughs> link in the description. Maybe we should just call him that. Writing to the troller was the best idea. Now he knows that he should not mess with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should just start sending messages. Every time he sends me, like, a shitty message, I'll be like, Hello, friend. Yes, I know you have bad life in Mother Russia, but come North America. Captain Canada, he take care of you. Very nicely, my friend. Cap Canada, is the RTX 2060 6 gig uh, good for this game? Probably. You should be able to do it with 6 gig. That wouldn't be bad. Um... Just subscribe. Thanks so much, Maximus. Very, very much appreciated. Mother Russia. Ever flown to Indonesia? We have not. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, dude. I used to play <laughs> with that accent. I used to play. I used to be like before I started streaming, I was hardcore into GTA 5 role playing. That's what I always used to play. Vlad Volkov. Fuck you. From Mother Russia. <laughs> Oh, uh, dude, I made people, like, I had people, I had cops, they would pull us over, like, doing the, the, like, drug runs and shit in GTA, and they would just be like, they'd have to be like, okay, out of character, like, this is amazing. And they would laugh their asses off. It, it was always a good time. KevJ64 coming in with a $20 donation. Thank you so, so much, Kev, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, man. He goes, been two weeks since I've last streamed, sorry to say. Oh, I'm in Maine, and on Wednesday, we're going to have a low temp of a minus 30. Holy shit. Thank you so, so much, Kev J, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, dude, for the support. Very, very cool, man. Thanks so much, dude. Supporting the cause. Fly to your hometown airport, KFLL. We probably will at some point. Uh, this is how we do in Mother Russia, right? Jesus, man. <laughs> Out of control, dude. Toto Bodo, thanks so much, man, for those kind words. Much appreciated, my friend. How many likes are we sitting at, guys? How many likes are we sitting at? I'm actually going to go check now. I wonder how many dislikes we have since our... Maybe our Russian friend got all of his buddies up here with us. How many likes? Oh, you can hear myself. There we go. Oh, we're so close to that magical number of 400... If you guys have not done so already, please make sure you smash down that like button, guys. Let's get this video up to as many likes as we can. We only had three buddies. <laughs> my favorite YouTuber, Lucas. Thanks so much, man. Much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. This is strange. Uh, I can donate, but I can't buy a sponsor. I'll try when I get home. Yeah, that's really weird, Captain Slovenia. Very, very weird. I'm not quite sure why it won't let you do that. Let's go 420 blaze it. After stream. After stream. 400 likes is pretty difficult with only 380 viewers. Well, I mean, there's more people coming in and coming out. Coming in and coming out. Uh, what is my Twitch name? Captain Canada 613 Next time you have a long haul and you play GTA 5, do the Russian accent. Oh, dude. I haven't played GTA in a minute, man. I, I burned myself out of that so hard. Like, I've spent months playing that game with my buddies. We were running a server. We were the Russian mob. 
It was unbelievable. It was so, so much fun. Six one three. Nope, that's the area code that I grew up in. Plus, somebody already took Captain Canada on Twitch. I'm gonna find you. Damn, Spinny Stark again, Captain Canada. Hey, pal, how are you? Eric, how are you, man? Welcome aboard. He did indeed, man. Four hundred. Nice. 416 area code is where it's at. I love how Bill knows so much about Canada. It's fucking insane, dude. Like, he catches me off by surprise so many times with his Canada knowledge. Like, Bill, how do you know that shit, man? The 401? <laughs> Kepke, when you built your gaming PC, did it have a place for you to put your x DVD in? No. And I have this. It's, uh... Light on. I don't know, dude. It's uh, it's a drive, and you just plug it in. It's you just USB, USB three. Plug that shit in. Anytime you need to do anything, boom, ready to rock and roll. But like, what what comes on a disc now, right? Oh shit, we got Void Tech coming with a ten dollar donation. Thank you so so much, Void Tech, for the support. Very very much appreciate. He goes here for Vlad or Alosha. Have beer. <laughs> thank you so much, Void Tech. Very thankful, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Voitech. Very, very much appreciated. God damn, we got Bo and Lover coming in with a $50 donation. My goodness me. Thank you so, so much, Bo and Lover. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge snow floaties. And you know what? I'm going to throw in some damage smitties in there, too. Thank you so much, my friend. Very, very much appreciated. Voitech and Boeing Lover, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so, so much for that. Very, very much appreciated. We you fight to Poland anytime? Patix, uh, we just came from Poland. Last week, dude, we were in Poland. So we will be back. We will be back, my friend. <clears throat> Hello, fellow comrade. Oh boy, I love it. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm gonna go play Rainbow Six Siege, have fun. Uh, Vest, take care, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow, dude. Keep in mind, tomorrow is our sponsor-only chat. So uh, sponsors and mods will be able to chat tomorrow. Uh, the rest of you can watch the video. It's just that the sponsors and mods are the only ones who will be able to chat. So yeah. Flight of CDG? I don't know where that is. Game game, both likes and dislikes are good for the stream because YouTube doesn't care. It's only about the amount of activity that counts. You got it. You got it, Philip. Well said, man. When is Descent Cabin? I think it's about like 30 miles. Not long. Uh, just shy of 30 miles. Is it easy to quit SIGs? Uh, I mean... With a little bit of help, a vape, yes, it is. It really is. The thing with cigarettes is, like, once you get past, like, a week or, like, five days to a week, it's, um, it's all just mental, man. It's, like, you don't need it anymore. It's all just mentality. Charles de Gaulle. Do we have any air? Do we have any scenery for that? I don't know if we do. How does Smitty afford you, Captain? Hey, man. Smitty is a businessman. Smitty is making all that money, all right? <clears throat> we don't need to question where he's getting his money from. It's his money. He can do whatever the hell he would like with it. Uh, no turbulence smooth back here. Nice, Charlie. Good. Glad. Uh, been off six for two years now. Vape for the win. Nice, Larry. Well done, man. Are we at TNCM tomorrow? If yes, do we fly a 747 into St. Martin? Not quite. Tomorrow, we are going to be going from Havana to the beautiful Cayman Islands. And then from the Cayman Islands, we're going to head to Jamaica. It's going to be a tropical tour. Should be fun. Cap, can you tell me, uh, Cap, can you tell me how to be as you are awesome? Uh, just, I don't, I don't know, dude. Just be you, man. Be you, dude. Don't try and, don't try and imitate anybody. Just be you, man. Have fun with it, dude. That's it. We got Capsule Media coming in with a dollar fifty-one. Thanks so much, man. He goes, who cares? Thank you so, so much, Capsule Huge no floaties to you, dude. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content. And uh, thanks so much for supporting the stream, man. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, gotta go, Cap. Thanks for an amazing stream. See you tomorrow. Ilya Base. Take care, my friend. Thanks so much for tuning in. Very, very much appreciated, man. Cap, why you take off? Oh, boy. IVO in Russia next time. Do I have to do that accent? 
still have a problem with my contrails 11.30 they're gray and not white can someone help me help me i installed x-plane already yeah i don't know dude i don't know what's going on there are members allowed to fly with you absolutely they do absolutely man is this game on steam yes the government testing uh well these four days with the weed the government testing you well these days with the weed oh yeah it's not bad I can't even remember what I have right now. Grape Ape. Grape Ape and... Uh, I forget what the other one is. The Grape Ape is delicious. It actually tastes like grape. <clears throat> Come to Australia? Oh, we've been there. We'll be back. Sickest elf ever. Nice name, by the way. Please do that uh, accent on Russian ATC. Do you know how fast they would call me out for that if I actually did that? That kid, that kid. <laughs> you still welding? Uh, Liam, no. Not anymore, dude. You are looking at my full-time gig, my friend. X and Viral worth the money? Yep. I'ma just, I'ma just leave this here for you. Yep. Borrow would probably say what Cap Canada, King of the Castle. <laughs> nice. Is there a giveaway from the next one store today? I'm going to buy this E320. It will be nice. There is no giveaway today. Not today, my friend. There will be one soon, though, if we keep this up. Uh, probably by uh, next week, we'll probably be hitting 24,000. So that'll be cool. Uh, Boeing Lover coming in with another $20 donation. My goodness me. Thank you so, so much, Boeing Lover, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Huge no floaties. And damn it, Smitty, for you. Thank you so, so much, man, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, man. I got the seatbelt signs on for you guys here. Cap, can you read my last comment, please? Thanks. Eric, I will do my best. Can I wait for the Cap Canada to say, uh, Whiskey Delta Vector. Whiskey Delta Vector. <laughs> Hello, friend. Uh, shit, whose comment was I looking for here? Uh, so I'm new to this channel. What games you play? Sickest stuff ever. Pretty much just this, man. The Blue Bear. Thanks so much for that subscription. Much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, where are you flying to in Jamaica? Everything okay. playing. We're going to hit up those two... Uh, Montego Bay and whatever the hell the other one is. Janice! Thanks so much for that as well, dude. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, Eric, can you just tag me, dude? Could you re-tag me in it? Because I can't find it. Approaching. 409 likes, 4 dislikes. Hey, we're there. We're rocking it. Julian H. Hurtson. Thank you so much, uh, Julian. Very, very much appreciated, man. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome up. Approaching. Oh, my goodness. Animish Diatonic. Thanks so much for that subscription as well. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Kingston, yes, that's the one. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to go from Muha, Havana, to the Cayman Islands, Cayman Islands to Montego Bay, and then if we have time, we'll go Montego Bay to Kingston, the other side of the uh, one. It's not a real stream unless we get four dislikes. You got it, Dan. Usually, it's actually, we've been averaging like between nine and 11. Nine and 11 dislikes now. It's been weird. Is 40 FPS on max setting good or bad for this sim? Excellent. That's pretty much what I'm running right now, dude. We are at 56 frames. 50, 50, 55 frames right now. Beautiful, dude. It's funny because if you actually go on to the X-Plane website, the developers from X-Plane say this themselves. If you are getting more than 35 FPS, turn more eye candy on. That is exactly what they say. They say 35 FPS is the... It's the butter zone for the simulator. So, there's that. The sickest elf ever. Thanks so much, man, for the support. Very, very much appreciated, man. Watching you while studying become fast some controller. Nice, Boeing lover. That's awesome, dude. Can't wait, man. I miss Space Shuttle sub. Space Shuttle, my bad, dude. Thanks so much for that subscription. Space Shuttle 2019. I feel like all these subscriptions are just coming in now. Or is that all of you subscribing like that at once? Kepke, okay, are you going to fly to Holland anytime soon? Uh, I don't think so. Probably not soon. We've got a lot of other places that we need to uh, we need to go visit first. First and foremost. 
All right, let me update the weather here in Havana, Muha. Man, my neck is fucking killing me right now. 030 at 10, Q&H 1015. All right, so I gotta get charts open here. Uh, Muha, what's my transition altitude gonna be? Approach, ILS runway six, and transition level is... I wish you would show me, please, transition level. Why you no show? Hello? Why the hell can't I find the transition level anywhere on the charts? Oh shit, Peter Redford! Coming in with a 10 pound donation. Thanks so much, Peter. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. He goes, hey, Cap Canada. Missed your first flight, but I'm here now relying on you. God damn it, Smitty. <laughs> Peter Redford, thanks so much, man. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Very, very much appreciated, man. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so, so much. There are mods for this game? Yes, there are many mods. Many, many mods. Potato chip, calm down, dude. Calm down. Cap, uh, is the Alienware laptop good for x -Plane? Depends which one. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I've had uh, terrible experiences with my Alienware laptop. That was like the first gaming computer I bought. I was in school. I convinced my parents that I needed a proper, powerful computer to run my blueprint CAD designing when I was back in welding school. Um, honestly, man, I mean, it's pretty much like irrelevant in a couple years just because you can't really upgrade it. You can't really do anything to it. So, yeah. We're sitting at 50 FPS right now, man. 45, 50 FPS. She's nice up here. We got Bowen Lover with another $2. Says, God damn it, Smitty. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Bowen Lover. Huge no floaties to you, man. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Now Cap Canada has a beefy 8100. Yeah, right? Holy... Okay, what kind of uh, sports do you done? Any sports in the past? Or which sports are you interested in? I play baseball, hockey. Not really a fan of soccer. Baseball, hockey, football. I played all those growing up. Uh, so yeah. 87, yeah, I was gonna say, we got the 8700K. I have the Alienware logo on the back of the screen and it's made for gaming. Yeah, if you should run, I don't doubt that it is. It's just, it's the internal components that, that matter. You have to remember, dude, x is a very, very hard core. It uses up a lot of your resources, man. So, you don't like... It's not that I don't like... I don't like playing soccer. I like watching soccer. <coughs> Do you know what I've been actually spending a lot of time doing right now? Is I've been watching this guy play his FIFA 19. And he, he, go, he grabs, like, the, the worst team. And then he does, like, a 10-year, like, contract with them. And he turns the team amazing. I've been, I don't even, I don't even have FIFA. I just, it's just amazing to watch him do this. He's, he's such a good uh, entertainer. Forget what his name is. He's on YouTube. Forget what his name is though. Like my computer runs at a 30, hey man, nothing wrong with 30 FPS, something like this. Getting 50 F on your laptop, nice. Uh, can you fly to SLO in your next stream? No, Cap Slovenia. Uh, next stream's gonna be tomorrow and we're going to Jamaica, man. Gonna be a lot of fun. Watching those rebuilds with a maiden. Nice, LinkedIn. That's awesome. Gotta go. I couldn't wait to see the butter. Gonna win a peg tomorrow, but I'll tune in for the stream. Sam, thanks for tuning in, dude. Much appreciate, man. Air Active Sky? No, this is X Enviro. X Enviro 1.07S, my friend. SLO is Slovenia. Yeah, maybe next week, uh, Cap Slovenia. We're definitely gonna be there next week. <coughs> Remember that greasy landing you made a generation? I had to pay millions of. Ambulances because of the crew had head injuries. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sidetrack Pro Flight Yoke, good to buy or sell. Wait for the CH Products one. Uh, Solar, I would be waiting for Honeycomb, dude. If you have not seen what Honeycomb is going to be releasing into the market, definitely go and check them out, dude. They're going to actually be sending me a copy of uh, one of their systems, so that should be awesome. Can anybody tell me what the goddamn... What the, uh, what the hell, what am I even looking for? I got totally sidetracked here. Um, I need to know the transition altitude for Havana. 
Does anybody know what that is? Because it's not popping up anywhere for me. I'm trying to find it. Uh, we got Azulan coming in with a $10 donation. Thank you so, so much, Azulan. Very, very much appreciated, man. He goes, yo, Cap, great flight, man. Keep it rocking. Uh, low AFR here in Oregon, uh, so better be in Cubano. Hell yes, my friend. Thanks so much, Adjuland. Very, very much appreciated. We got Zane Clakebird coming in with a $5 donation. Thank you so, so much, Zane. He goes, next time in the U.S., can you fly to K-Jack? One of the nicest approaches. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We have somebody making a K-Jack for us as well. So that should be awesome. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you so, so much for the support, dude. Absolutely wonderful. It is 3,000 feet. All right, sweet. Thanks, guys. Much appreciated. Aviation Ryan, make sure you're keeping that thing cold, dude. Make sure you're cooling that bad boy. You don't want to overheat that thing. According to my charts, it said BATC. All right, sweet, Flying Hut. Thanks, man. Is that a storm ahead? I wouldn't really call it a storm. Got some, some nice cumulus clouds here. <clears throat> Wouldn't quite say it's a storm. The clouds look puffy and fluffy. Oh, yes. Four hundred twenty-four likes. Nice last leg. Yes, sir, Linux. This is the final leg for the afternoon, my friend. Do you have a converted Muha Airport? I do, John. Yes, I do. I do. I converted it with my uh, conversion specialists. We actually finished it last night. Late last night, we actually got it all done. Uh, I mean, it's in the Caribbean. Gets stormy easily. Very true. <clears throat> Very true. Uh, what is my PC friend's top games? Here you go, man. Just pay attention. Nightbot will spam you a little command there. What CPU do I need to run world objects at high? I have an 8700K. I run it at high, no problem. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Muha has a really awesome iCal code. That's what I'm saying, man. Link to the store, please. Uh, my wife Beth says hi. Gustavo to the explain.org store. Here you go, man. Gustavo and wife. Welcome, guys. There is the store. Bulgaria soon. Yes, Genity. Yes, we will. Gotta hit up Sophia and... Uh, Vess is going to get mad at me for forgetting the other one that we have to go to. Cap, do you see you're getting honeycomb products to try? Hell yeah. Uh, when and which ones? Love to hear about them. As you land, yes. I uh, actually had a phone conversation Thursday after stream. Uh, the owner of Honeycomb <laughs> reached out and called me. Uh, it was pretty crazy. I had about a half hour conversation with him. Very, very, very awesome person. Um, his name is Nikki. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. He's European. Uh, very, very cool. I, I'm super excited to be able to show you guys what they're working on and what they have. Um, yeah, very, very excited. Plane, why would you do that? Like, that was the silliest thing that you could have done was speed up now. Because now you're going to blow right through that restriction. GG. You thought about flying into the new Istanbul airport? Yes, we will do that as well, man. We will, we will. A uh, plane, if you could just like, you know, stay on your descent profile there, that would be magically wonderful. All right, fuck it. Throw out some spoilers. She doesn't want to go down. Let's enter our descent data here, guys. We're gonna go to next phase. All right, I had all this information up here. QH 1015 gonna say format error of course you will motherfucker there we go and we're looking for a temperature of 24 degrees whoever's approaching give me a second here mag winds it is zero three zero at ten decent just gotta not over flare this it's my big thing I've been over flaring a lot lately 250 on our designated height 
beautiful. Looks good. All right. Yeah, now you're struggling to try and get back on course because you fucking went all crazy with your speed there. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Alright guys, we are going to kill the music now. We'll listen to these sounds coming in. No clue, Lucas. Let's not feed him though. It's a good thing. Probably past his bedtime. Let's go auto brakes low. We should be fine with that. If we go to Sofia, we also have to go to Varna. Yes, Varna. For sure Varna. We have scenery for Varna. We're all European, everybody. It's very true. <laughs> Ancestry. Uh, is nice 7 7700k at 4.2 uh, good enough for high world objects? Should be. It's a, it's a newer i7. It should be for sure. No yoke today? Nope, not today, man. We are waiting for honeycomb. So it's going to be the about the first month of... Uh, sorry, the first week of April. Uh, I should get my yoke about a couple weeks. A month to a couple weeks before they release to the public. So I'll be able to give you guys a great rundown. Um, I'll be able to say if, you know, if I give it a yes, if I give it a no... Judging by the looks of it, and after speaking with the developer and owner of the company, um, it looks really promising, guys. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It looks very promising. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to be able to give you guys a, a good rundown on what that product is like uh, before you guys have to spend any money. But uh, I can tell you that from his words himself, uh, he, he just got his yoke back. So one of the very first production models... And uh, he said it blew him, blew his, blew it away. He was, uh, he was amazed at how well it turned out. So, hopefully we will see it. Can't wait to see the honeycomb in use. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, Dan. Going to be awesome. How do you get the camera shake? Uh, Chrisma, it's a plugin called XP Realistic, sir. $20 on the xplane.org store. The best $20 you will spend in a simulator, hands down. Promise. Get our LS switch on here as well. New fly to Albania, maybe. How much will it cost? Uh, the yoke will be two nineteen ninety nine, two hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. And the throttle, which comes with it, which is a fully customizable throttle, may I add, so you can make it a seven thirty seven style, Airbus style, uh, fucking prop plane style, whatever you would like. It has all interchangeable pieces. Very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, and the throttle is going to be 200, 199.99. So yeah, can't wait for the uh, throttles with reverse. That's what I'm saying, Passat Dreams. I can't wait, dude, to land that plane and click. The oh, dude, it's going to be so badass, man. I can't wait. Probably going to butcher my first couple landings, but yeah. Uh, got a challenging airport in Greece called Corfu from Flight Tampa. Pure beauty cap. Oh, hell, Nick, it's beautiful, dude. One of my favorites to fly into, man. It is a beautiful airport, my friend. All right, guys, let's go flaps position one. Help out with that descent rate here. You have to collect some money. Damn, so much money. Yeah, it's going to be about... I mean, it's it's just over $400. I think it's going to be about $425 USD. But, I mean... Fuck, dude. Does it look promising, man? Like, holy, I'm excited about it. I'm going to activate our approach phase here. Transition altitude is supposed to be 3,000 feet. I'll put that in there now. Thank you. Plane, you really got a descent, though, man. What FPS with an i7-8700 and a 1076 gig? Well, 1070 is 8 gig, unless they put something new out. But I thought for sure a 1070 was 8 gig. Uh, you can probably expect somewhere close to what I'm getting, man. You'll definitely be over that 30 threshold, that's for sure. So you'll be good there. Uh, what do we have to be? We have to be a Gen C for 2600. Plane, you better start goddamn descending yourself here. Captain on the block! Morris, what's going on, dude? Welcome back, man. Bring me some Cuban rum. Let's get these girls wild. God damn it, Bill. <laughs> 
I see the airport. Hello, friends. You're very far off in the distance. Southwest just landed. Somebody else is... I don't know what he's doing. All right. Good stuff. Oh, okay. We're fine on that glide slope. My bad. Let me arm those bad boys. We're good. We Gucci on that glide slope. Do you think they'll be on sale for Chinese New Year? I have no clue, Trinity. I wouldn't expect the sale probably within the first couple, you know, six months to a year, Attention. probably. Alfredo Neverett Calva! Thank you so much, man, for that subscription. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Glad you're enjoying the content, sir. Welcome aboard. Okay. We're getting t shirt. Uh, my Teespring. My Teespring, my friend. Alrighty, guys, we are just waiting for that localizer to come alive here. It should, uh, should happen any second. I'm actually going to grab a localizer right now. And localizer should start its turn momentarily. There it goes, capturing localizer right now. Beautiful. And we're going to hit our approach phase here as well, because it looks a little bit hazy down there. There's 3,000 feet. We can go standard barrow, flip that guy over. And what was our q &H? It was 10.15. 10.15. Easy now. 10.15. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll reset this guy here as well. 10.15. Approaching. That's cool. It gives you the, uh, what it is in, uh, that's neat. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. It gives you all that information. There goes our glide slope. <clears throat> oh, baby. It's got our final approach uh, speed plugged in. Let's go, gear down, flaps two. How the fuck did all you guys get in front of me like that? You guys just doing your own little victor vectors or what? Because you guys all departed after me, yet somehow you're all in front of me right now. I may have to disconnect. Like this guy's taking off into us, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and a little bit of disconnect here, guys. We don't need to deal with that. We're trying to have a nice, nice arrival here today. Let's go Flaps 3. Everybody get your landing rates in. Everybody get your landing rates in now. Whatever first thrust on the tallest open, I have to hold down for about 15 seconds. They barely turn on. Make sure your nose wheel is down. And you should have a button. Just toggle. Flaps full. <clears throat> I really don't like that fucking wind noise, man. Like, I am not about that at all. I don't think there's anything that we can do. Nope. Alrighty guys, my airplane! Throw that out. Alrighty! Alright guys, landing checklist, gears down, three green, flaps are full, spoilers are armed, auto brake is set, cabin crew has been advised, we've been given clearance to land, you guys know what this means, butter time, the wind is probably XP realistic, nope, it's not Dan, I have every sound turned off, it's, it's part of this airplane, it's part of the BSS sound pack, and it drives me bananas, it's like the only thing that I wish I could change. I wish he would give me an option to just turn off that wind noise in total. I don't like it. I don't... I'm, I'm, I understand it may be realistic. That's fine. I'm not a fan of it. I don't have to like it. <laughs> For it to be realistic. Butter the butter? I hope so, man. I haven't flown this plane in a hot minute. We're showing four red. I just... I fucking explain, man. I really hope they fix this glide slope issue. Approaching. Zero. Six. Thank you. crosswind here seven knots off our right not too too bad may look like we're coming in a little bit crapped 500 checked uh, we're gonna get greasy with this one guys I'm gonna do my best to not over flare it my apologies if we smash but I'm going for a crazy landing here I'm going for a beauty 300 checked Minimum. landing yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
don't worry. Look at how close the fucking threshold is. Oh boy! Yay! <laughs> Shit! I knew it too! Fuck! <laughs> Hold that nose through the D cell! <laughs> God damn it! I fucking knew it, dude! <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna go for the gusto! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> through the D cell! <laughs> Stow those reversers over to manual braking! <laughs> I told you guys I was gonna go for it, alright? I was I was I was in fighter jet mode, okay? Everybody leave me alone. <laughs> I was in I was in fighter jet mode, alright? Let's get those landing lights off. Let's go ahead and fire up that APU. Nose light over the taxi, runway turn off lights coming on, strobe lights going off. Oh baby. <laughs> jet pilot coming to the 20 Norwegian Cronin. Thank you so much, man, for the support. Much appreciated. Oh boy. I kind of knew that was going to happen, guys. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> oh, I got to fix these here as well. All right, let's fire up that EPU. Yeah. So, about that. <laughs> We're just going to uh, pretend like that never happened, okay, guys? <laughs> That's what you get for flying Airbus. And I haven't flown this thing. Like, this plane, I love this plane, but, like, it just... The only my only issue between these these planes in the simulator are how different the tolis and the flight factor and the jar fly like all three fly their own their own separate ways with the tolis we probably would have caught that landing because it's sensitive enough like the flyby wire to pull this one no <laughs> i pretty much pulled back as far as i could on my stick and uh, that's what we get out of that but there we go oh baby you're a crazy man. Hello from Russia. Friends top game. What's going on, dude? Welcome aboard, man. Welcome, welcome, my friend. What a time to tune in. <laughs> I mean, I kind of warned you guys. I kind of told you we were probably going to smash. I was like, I'm going for the gusto on this one, guys. I'm going to try and, like, last second flare it. So apparently you can't do that in this plane. <laughs> we got Bill coming in with a dollar. Thanks so much, Bill. He goes, uh, you shoveled her into the ground real good. <laughs> Oh, Billy boy. My bad. My bad, guys. It was worth it, though, right? We all enjoyed that. You gotta have fun sometimes, man. Can't always be about the butters, guys. We gotta get some smashies in, too. <laughs> God damn it, Canada. <laughs> what version of Exaviro am I using? 1.07S, my friend. 1.07S. We're gonna go ahead and get ourselves into the gate here. Into the jetway. Oh shit, we got Ian Reed coming in with a $15 donation. Thanks so much, Ian, for the support. He was starting my PPL course in a few days. Thanks for the inspiration. By the way, that landing, though. <laughs> Ian, thanks so much, dude, for a $15 donation. Very, very much appreciated, my friend. Absolutely wonderful. Listen, we're flying WOW Air into Cuba. If we don't smash, I don't know what to do, because that was just a great landing overall. Park brakes going on, APU is on, and available, APU bleed is on, beautiful, engine number one is coming off, engine number two is coming off, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the entire flight crew, <laughs> we'd like to welcome you, <laughs> oh boy, to Cuba, and we got Smitty coming in with a hundred dollar donation, Smitty, the man himself, coming in with that dono, Thank you so, so much, Smitty, once again, man. He goes, damn it, you broke the landing gear. Damn it. <laughs> Smitty. Absolutely insane. Thank you so, so much, Smitty. Huge no floaties. And damn it, Smitty in chat. Absolutely insane. Thank you so, so much, Smitty, for the continued support, man. Absolutely wonderful. To you as well, Ian, very, very much appreciated. Absolutely insane. I'm going to have to add some, uh, some on for Ian here. In a second, damn, those uh, those shutdown sounds were uh, pretty special, were they not? My goodness me, that was really good. Uh, plus 14.99, got a fix in here. 487.79, 487.79. There we go. Thanks so much, Ian. Updated as well. Very, very much appreciated. Oh, boy. All righty. I missed the dono. What, really? Did I? Uh, I, got, I got, no, I got bills. 
I got Bills, I got Smitty, we got Maximilio, we got Ian Reed, and we got Zanes as well. And Jet Pilots. No, we got them all, man. We got them all. And then we got Maximilio coming in with the $5 as well. Says, I want to get a refund on my plane ticket. Damn it, Smitty. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, man, for the support, guys. Very, very much appreciated. You guys are absolutely insane. All right. Let's go ahead and dis... Uh, we already are disconnected, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, perfect. Well, let's just go toggle that replay mode. Let's back the sucker up here, guys. Let's take a look at that smashful landing, shall we? Shh. I don't want to speak about this anymore, okay, guys? <laughs> After today, we're not allowed to speak about this, okay? All right, good. As long as we're all in understanding here together. I got to get the song ready here. You guys are already spamming the emoji. Uh-oh. You know what time it is. All right. Let's take a look at these replays here, guys. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any uh, sounds in the replays, but, uh, you know. Love you, Captain Gargo. Take uh, Lauren, thanks so much for tuning in. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, the landing is what I do every night on my Tinder hose. Jesus Christ. Damn, we'll talk, uh, we'll talk about it every day. Uh-oh. <laughs> Brianna, no. Song on off. The floats were uh, were given in that. No floats were given in that landing. Yes, I was try. I wanted to see. You know what I mean. I wanted to see if we could fighter style it. Apparently, you can't in the 320. Not a good idea to fighter. Oh boy. I mean, only this one lifted off a little bit. <laughs> oh boy. That was greasy, Captain. Can't be treating your. Can't be treating your paying customers like that. Holy. Anyways, guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for today's stream. We're just going to call that a professional butter, if you ask me. I don't know about you, but like... Oh, fuck. The ass hit so heavy. Woof. <laughs> Woof. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's stream. Thank you guys so, so much for everybody who donated, sponsored. Smash down that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You guys are all the best. Thank you guys so, so much for everything that you do for the channel. All of my members, or whatever the hell we want to call it. Yeah, members. Um, we have our special stream tomorrow. It will be member-only chat. So if you are a member to the stream and to the channel, please make sure that you tune in tomorrow. I would love to spend some time, get to know you guys a little bit better one-on-one. -on -one. So anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for today's stream. I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed it, even though we kind of botched the landing. You know what? You can't win them all. It's good to have fun sometimes. Right, guys? I will leave you with some replays. Everybody. Thank you once again, and stay safe, happy landings, and I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Approaching.